All my brothers, they ready for war. Ready like never before. Steady, we setting it up. They know we men of the Lord. They know we coming with truth. And we stay grounded like root. We converting like coops. Holding on and we going strong and no giving up. Yeah, we get it. Separating from all the sin and keep all the laws. Yeah, we winning. Haters wanna see me die. You can never kill my vibe. Cause I'm here for one reason. That's to serve the most high. Standing strong in this truth. I ain't got nothing to lose. I kill the omen, I'm new. Drinking the spirit, no booze. Separating from fools. It's the love that I choose. That's just the way that we do. Yeah, that's the way that we do. Standing strong in this truth. I ain't got nothing to lose. I kill the omen, I'm new. Drinking the spirit, no booze. Separating from fools. It's the love that I choose. That's just the way that we do. Yeah, that's the way that we that's the way that we do, meditating on the inevitable. I pray my works will be credible. Rape my name and they're legible. You ain't gotta put me on the pedestal. I inquired the way through the gates. So I shake and juke on everything with beauty, and that's the credit to my faith. They hate the way that I switch lanes. Evil works I abstain. Hope the kingdom I obtain. Holy Bible I contain. They rope it over these cuts, man. Just the way to be unchained. Separated like a quarantine for the faith of things that are unseen. We don't want to court no schisms, disconnected, no feelings, let God be true and every man a liar, I can't correspond with your dealings, guaranteed I'm about my father's business, I want to see this kingdom be diminished, you can't tell me nothing about the Bible if you're being idle, thinking you a prophet, boy, you in denial, standing strong in this truth, I ain't got nothing to lose, I kill the omen, I'm new, drinking the spirit, no booze, separating from fools, it's the love that I choose, that's just the way that we do, yeah, that's the way that we do, Standing strong in this truth, I ain't got nothing to lose. I kill the omen, I'm new. Drinking the spirit, no booze. Separating from fools, it's the love that I choose. That's just the way that we do. Yeah, that's the way that I we do. I found the truth and I killed the old man with contention. Daily, I am dying. That's endurance. Patience is a virtue. Now you know the reign is kings, bro. If you got it, dog, the kingdom coming. You got the weight of the world on your shoulders. I know you struggle, it weighs as a boulder. Watch for the serpent, he stings like a cobra. You will be gold if you wait till it's over. Yeah, the kingdom is in sight, but it's not by observation. Put my brick and do this work and avoid all of temptation to my flesh. I will surely die just to reign with Christ. To my flesh, commit suicide just to get this light. Standing strong in this truth, I ain't got nothing to lose. I kill the omen, I'm new. Drinking the spirit, no booze. Separating from fools. It's the love that I choose. That's just the way that we do. Yeah, that's the way that we do. Standing strong in this truth. I ain't got nothing to lose. I kill the omen, I'm new. Drinking the spirit, no booze. Separating from fools. It's the love that I choose. That's just the way that we do. Yeah, that's the way that we do. Chapter 11, verse 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that win his souls is wise. Uh, I go so hard, I make my bishop double check my verse. <laughs> Hopping off the porch like you gon' get this work. <laughs> I do it for the blacks, Hispanics, Indians, <laughs> Brazilian, Cubans, Haitians, and Dominicans. <laughs> Teaching to my people about the truth in Christ. <laughs> I'm over righteous and hate my appearance. Not the friend just jump, I feel the Lord, so he was nothing to it. Make haste to do it. Seek it to the kingdom is my main influence. Let's go, let's go. Let that path unto righteousness is straight and narrow. Every part the scriptures is the only way we gon' prevail. Blessed be the wise is the compensation. For the kingdom of thy God come not by observation. Bloodline of Jehovah, the say it's Jehovah. So to the unrepentant, Jehovah don't know you. I pray the day you wake up from the walking dead. I pray the day you see these heathen bloodshed. I go so hard.
yard, I make my bishop double check my verse. <laughs> Hopping off the porch like you gon' get this work. <laughs> I do it for the blacks, Hispanics, Indians, Brazilian, Cubans, Haitians, and Dominicans. Teaching to my people about the truth in Christ. <laughs> Go to Babylon, this is your demise. <laughs> for whoever breaks the law, you gon' get this work. <laughs> for whoever breaks the law, you gon' get this work. At this time, we were like, all the gays say is the naysayers of Israel united in Christ. Take this moment, please, to shut up. <laughs> all right, I'm going in. Fix your face. face. We ain't going nowhere. nowhere. Scripts popping, ain't no stopping. When I'm on post, I don't go there. go there. Gotta get it if you wanna know that. Know that. French stuff, and I'ma show that. show that. Mad at me, cause it's Bible verse. Boy, we ain't wrote that. Yeah. We be about his business. And this besides me, if your feelings hurt, cause you can best believe you gon' get it. Get it. Rebuke on our sinners. Baptist Catholic hit him. You've been warned by a true prophet. If you like living, then listen. Uh, Shoot up. I go so hard, I make my bishop double check my verse. <laughs> Hopping off the porch like you gon' get this work. <laughs> I do it for the blacks, Hispanics, Indians. <laughs> Brazilian, Cubans, Haitians, and Dominicans. <laughs> Teaching to my people about the truth in Christ. <laughs> in that purple kicking in them scriptures man you can call me urkel christ is coming with them chariots like a circle with flames of fire on those who don't follow instruction repent or die yeah that might seem harsh trying to bring my people back to these laws because they looking kind of parched Woo! yeah they need that living water Cause they pass a lion, lean them straight into the slaughter So don't bother with that doctrine Cause we come in with that end Scriptures breaking bones Can someone please call the hammer? Call the hammer? See this Bible is the standard Heathens looking stupid while we lifting up the banner uh, I go so hard I make my bishop double check my verse <laughs> Hopping off the porch like you gon' get this work <laughs> I do it for the blacks, Hispanics, Indians <laughs> Brazilian, Cubans, Haitians, and Dominicans. Over when we see on right, this ain't the game cap. That 
money on ice, be more than a failure. Cause no weapon form gon' nail us. Living water, all aboard with a cellar. Fringes on, all needs a lure and a tailor. Yeesh, finna run it, feeling like a generator sitting in the summer. Hot, please, don't be a dummy. War being summer, then you don't see it coming. Cool, stick a fork to yourself cause you're done. Gave a blind man sight, he need money. Bruh, can't even count, still keep on it. Life from the sun don't get more stunning. Damn, neon in the night. We some kings like Hezekiah. You are high, so alive. We might never even die. Got a mansion in the sky. I mean, you should see the size. I was a freedom with some fries. I changed my mind like never mind. Shine like neon in the night. I just found out that I'm a joke Thought I was like pretending have a clue My enemies kept it on the low I guess the truth is out and now you know I just found out that I'm a joke Thought I was like pretending have a clue My enemies kept it on the low I guess the truth is out and now you know I just found out that I'm a joke Growing up, I thought I was an African Cause my melanin is popping, I'm a black man My people on the bottom, but we finna rise up If you native, Hispanic, or Negro, stand up I don't believe the lies, Caesar gotta go yeah. Christ is black and that's the truth, it's in the Bible yeah. We the greatest people ever walk the earth But we sin, so now we gotta face the curse Peep out the swag, yeah, peep out the swag the start of the earth, yeah, they still in a swag Yeah, the sweeter, they sipping some apple juice Watch me while I laugh at you Cause I just found out that I'm a joke Thought I was like pretending to have a clue My enemies kept it on the low I guess the truth is out and now you know I just found out that I'm a joke Thought I was like pretending to have a clue My enemies kept it on the low Guess the truth is out and now you know I just found out that I'm a joke The greatest of all, yeah, we're the greatest of all United we stand, yeah, divided we fall We are the lights, yeah, we are the nights The sons of Jacob, yeah, the Israelites Don't try to test me, the Lord is blessed me Yeah, I'm looking calmly, my skin is nasty You can probably catch me rolling through the city but only trade with my asses I'm not Mexicano oh. Man, los son mi hermano yeah. From the drama nest yeah. yeah, that's them Cubanos Looking at me, bet you wouldn't even have a clue Have a clue, yeah I just found out that I'm a joke Thought I was African and have a clue My enemies kept that on the low I guess the truth is out and now you know I just found out that I'm a joke Thought I was like pretending have a clue My enemies kept it on the low I guess the truth is out and now you know I just found out that I'm a joke Yeah Body, 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 huh? That you want it all. I'm talking dumb cash and honey caps with draws. Teflons, bullets bouncing off. Fucking ass fat that she be dropping jaws, huh? Wanna drag race some expensive cars, don't you? That's vanity in your own barrage, pointless. Like a broken pencil, flying cotton nipsel. Don't know your potential, let me show you then. Would've chosen seed out of Abraham. You follow the crowd, that follows Satan. Gotta follow laws. 
boss, no negotiation. It's the kingdom of heaven, we fight for. Men put on your armors, boys, burn up your sword. It's the final hours, you don't wanna record. No world star, but this world's ours. We live in a matin. Tu baga o bezé. No gain. No gain. Bon check the vini pour nous. Pour nous. Timon Israel no ye. Levé. Tibli vai. Levé. Ah. It's vanity. Everything you want is vanity. I'd rather give it with charity. They want my own, it's vanity. It's vanity. Everything you want is vanity. I'd rather give it with charity. They want my own, it's vanity. It's vanity. It's vanity. Even though I keep on. It's vanity. All your desire is vanity. It's vanity. It's vanity. It's vanity. It's nothing if you don't have charity. Vanity. I got action. Like I said, I'm giving it to somebody else. Vanity. Vanity. Come on now. Vanity. Watch this, man. Vanity. Vanity. Vanity, vanity, vanity. Everything you want is vanity. You let your desire for the Lord giving up yours. That's for this world ignored. Don't provide me your knowledge from college. And please, no details of how you bought it. It don't surprise me. Most I cause a sodish. Why to do evil? There's no doubt about it. Got money, guess you think you a boss. No mirror front, it's nothing like you with routes. Vanity and I sin within no caps. Extra charity within these raps. Exposing vanity with biblical apps. Direction from the scriptures, no Google map. If it ain't charity, you don't need the scraps. You stand for that less, your poor boy is trapped. I press play and repent. My wants went pause. What profit a man to gain the world just to lose it all? So for Christ, I don't count it loss. I guess you can say I'm bearing my cross. It means nothing without charity. Make that there and keep it the law. It's family.
them captives and pray unto thee towards that land which thou gave us unto their fathers. Bethink yourself and come back to me. In a world I wasn't right, a sin that I was in was horrible, horrible. And I knew I wasn't right, I give a thousand reasons to still resign. Turned away from family, I turned away from so called friends. Sinful 
thoughts from the weed Let's just borrow all that money I won't let you take my soul from me Oh no, not again I'm not gonna let you win That undercover sin A.K.A. that old man I see you brought your friends A.K.A. legions But I won't let you win This time I'll take the win Hallelujah, hallelujah So I'ma get right Hallelujah, hallelujah So I'ma On the scene, here to let you know, yeah, his eyes like wine and his feet like brass, and you know it's Willie has same color that snow, yeah, Christ gon' go with that fire, be blazing, blazing, them nations, them nations for our salvation, yeah, them heathens gon' get that woe, that double woe, destruction and repercussion for oppressing his chosen seat, yes, indeed, see, we on top, and the other nations just mad, cause they not. November, I think it's what, the 6th? We saw a mess with the time so much it's hard to keep up. <laughs> it's actually 10 o'clock Central Time. It should be 11 o'clock Central Time. Coming out their Bible, casting down imaginations. Let's go. Israelites on the scene, here to let you know. Yeah, his eyes like wine and his feet like brass. And you know his woolly hair, same color that snow. Yeah, Christ gon' go with that fire. Be blazing, blazing them nations, them nations for our salvation. Yeah, them heathens gon' get that woke. That double you know it's church. But you love you some T.I. You love you some Kanye West. You feel like Kanye done found himself <laughs> making a making an album called Jesus is King. You might like Pharrell's blonde headed swag. <laughs> you might like Jesus trap a dime mentality. But guess what? His son graduated from college. What? Right. Right. Your son's still doing ten years in prison. Right. His son didn't trap a die. His son hit the books. So what we gonna do? We we gonna start off like we always start off. Let's go to Second Corinthians chapter ten. Shalom, Most High Christ, blessed to the twelve tribes of Israel, Israel scattered abroad. Whether you be in this country or the other country, my brothers and sisters, Shalom, Most High Christ, bless. It's the book of First Corinthians chapter ten, verse four. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. You're not going to see the prophets of God have a AR-15 strapped to his chest. Right. Trying to exercise our Second Amendment, right? <laughs> that ain't what we're going to do. That's not how we're going to operate. Right. We're going to operate with what? Read on. Casting down imagination. That's what we're going to do. We're going to cast down imagination with what? 
and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. That's your white man Jesus. That's your Islam, your Christianity, your Second Amendment rights that you want to exhibit. That's your hip-hop, love for hip-hop. I mean, uh, Jake can't recite nine prophets in the Bible. Right. But they could. They got a top 20 greatest rap artist list. And right. they will debate you tooth and nail for four or five hours why <laughs> they list is correct. Right. Why this rapper is above that rapper. But they, they can't go in the scriptures and show you anything edifying. <laughs> right. Only thing they know is John 3.16. John 3.16, <laughs> Young Jeezy, Biggie Smalls, Tupac. Right. Nicki Minaj, and so on. That's, that's what our people are wrapped in. They really believe that these are the so-called leaders of the black people and that they actually have our best interests at heart, right. which time at the time, they absolutely don't. They have their own self-interest in heart, and they just trying to make a dollar off of our people. Right. That's it. That's and, all it is. And you're exactly right. And you know what the crazy thing about it is? They can give you every detail and intel on that person's life. They constantly on MTO, uh, World Hip Hop, uh, World Hip Hop Star, World Star, I'm world star Hip Hop. Yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not very affluent in the ratchetness <laughs> of Jake. All right, because I'm in these scriptures, man. <laughs> but yeah, they can give you every little fine detail about this person's life, but they can't even tell you what their nationality is or who they are according to the Bible. They have no knowledge of themselves at all. Nah, that's, that's it. Bye. And they take Tupac's lyric, Only God Can Judge Me, and put it in the Bible. That's right. how strong hip-hop is. As soon as that Negro said that, people got it tatted on them with Christian crosses on it. I, you don't know how many, cross, how many tattoos I've seen with a cross and above it. Right. Only God can judge me. Right. That's right. nowhere in the Bible. Nowhere right. in the Bible. Tupac Shakur made that a saying, right. officially. Do we have a phone call? Okay. Give me the first video. Give me the one about uh, the uh, MTV situation on hip hop. We're going to start with that. That is going to be the precursor, not that one. Oh, God. <laughs> that one. Oh, snap. Make sure the sound works. Please. Let's have one week. Can we do it? Oh. Yes. <laughs> All praises. <laughs> All praises. Go ahead. You video rappers that go rent it. This is real. So are rappers really just fronting? I would say it's, it's, it's more broke rappers than rich rappers. For the most part, rappers are not millionaires. They have this bar, this sort of expectation that's been set extremely high, and it's unrealistic. There are very few Jay-Zs, very few Eminems. Frequently, the person that you see bling-blinging doesn't have as much money as he would like other people to think. Stop. So whether that the white man just told you. He said all of this bling bling in there doing, they really don't have the money that you believe they got. Right. And he's and he and he's he's a CEO. He smiled when he said that. <laughs> Basically, like you niggas really believe that we're gonna give these Negroes straight out the hood millions of dollars. <laughs> keep keep playing. Shipping platinum, gold, or wood, many rappers feel obliged to live the player lifestyle, even if it's beyond their means. A lot of people get caught up in the glitz and glamour, want to show off more than they have. They spend their money before they get it. I know of rappers who, the second they got their deals, the first thing they did was went and got their rapper starter kit. Before they even paid their rent, I gotta go get my jewels, my pendant, my bracelet. Some people feel like that's the way they have to look before the fans will accept them. I got the jewelry and all that, but that's the ghetto fabulous. That's what the crowd want. If you don't have it, you're looking at somebody like they whack or something, but that's not the way it should be, but that's the way we kind of seeing it. The more and more it grow where people have the big jewelry on, the cars or whatever, you ain't gonna be riding in your video on a Pinto. So even when a hot new talent strikes gold, I got a million dollars out of this yeah. A day in a life can quickly turn that million back into 50 cents. Rockefeller CEO Damon Dad breaks it down. This is a realistic look at what a million dollars is to a the first time rapper. First of all, it's tax half. Yeah, that's five hundred thousand right there in there. Boom. So now all you got is five hundred thousand dollars. The first thing you got to do is get a nice car. My truckity truck. And there's a hundred thousand. Now you got four left. 
you got to get your jewelry game up. And things are costing a lot lately. I like necklaces. So let's say you spend 100 on the low ball side. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to keep up with everyone else. So now you got, what, 300000 left. You got to get a place to live, and you don't have good credit because you're just coming from the street. So you got to drop more than 20%. I'm at home, baby. So now you got about 250 left. Now your homeboys think you got way more than you have, and you got to look out for everybody on your block. So put 50 to that. You got to keep your fresh together. I love my Gucci fits. They tell me. So you're going to spend 50 on fresh. Your sneakers, you got to pop tags every single day. So put 50 on that. Get you a pair of these right here. You have an overhead where you have to maintain all these things every month. So now you might have 20,000 in bills every single day. You know what I'm saying? And there it is. It's gone. There's no more money. It's a wrap. Your man is nothing. Coming up, you've seen where the money go. Okay. Wow. That's pretty much all I wanted on that. Wow. This is what our young brothers and sisters, till this day, aspire to be. Oh, if I, I, if I can record in my mama's bedroom or in my basement and make a hot mixtape, I'm going to be a, a me. I'm, I'm going to have a million dollars like Jeezy. I'm, I'm going to be rich like Jay Z. I, I, I'm going to get my mama out the hood. Every Negro that don't have his head on straight. What I mean by that is probably going to school to get education or in sports. The two things they want to do is they want to be LeBron James, they want to be a baller, or they want to be a rapper. Not a doctor. Right. Not a lawyer. Not an engineer. Not a cop. Not an engineer. Not a fireman. Right. Not anything like an activist helping the community. Not a prophet like the Bible preaches to be. Right. Which was their forefathers. They want to be young Jeezy. They yeah. want a chain. They want a car. They want, and believe it, look, I don't know how many Negroes I've heard on the radio that can't rap. How many Negroes promote their mixtapes out their trunk, which is trash, and nobody tells them how trash they are. But they honestly believe that's the only way they can make money is what you just seen on the screen. And none of these Negroes make money like that. None of them. Two of them. Two out of 2,500, 250,000 rappers. Bring it up. Bring it up. It's highly saturated. The game is highly, highly saturated. When I try to do it in the world, it, it wasn't like that. You know, the, the, what you see on TV and stuff like that, no, you have to work hard to even get a chance, you know what I'm saying, to get an advance. But you had to know how to work the money. It wasn't just like you got an advancement and then now you can ball out. You had to think smart. You had to invest, but people don't have that. Don't have that wisdom. Nobody's there to give them that wisdom or that guidance. But they, all they think is, is sex, drugs, and money. That's all they believe. So give me. I'm gonna start this off with Ciroc 31 and five, because the hip hop culture is solely based off of getting rich quick. Bring it up. If Negroes knew how much work it really took to become a number one artist and actually to be the richest artist out and actually have the jewels that they floss and the money that they floss, they, wouldn't, they, they would not go into that profession. But it's, it's a get-rich-quick scheme amongst blacks that right. if I have a number one single or a hot mixtape, I'm going to get in a million-dollar advance, and then we, we set for life. Okay, give me that. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 31, verse 5. He that loveth gold shall not be justified. He that loveth gold, loveth riches, loveth money. Read. And he that followeth corruption shall have enough thereof. So, read that from the top again. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 35, verse 4. He that loveth gold shall not be justified. You're not going to be justified in anything that you do because of your love and want for money and, and, and fancy and living lavish things. And he that followeth corruption shall have enough thereof. And you follow corruption. You're doing everything outside of what God says right. for a check. So you're going to find the corruption thereof. You're going to be in those corruptible places, in them whore houses, in those clubs, with your life in danger, chain getting snatched, catch something like a viral disease. Right. Getting robbed by the man, the, I'm going to be honest, the so-called white man who runs these record labels. You ain't getting that check you thought you was going to get. Right. Keep reading. Verse 6. Gold have been the ruin of many. Gold has been ruin of many. That get rich or die trying mindset 
has killed a lot of our brothers and sisters. Right. That's, that's what put them on the block selling dope. That's what put them on the street wanting to rob and kill their own brother. That get rich or die trying mind frame. That guess what? The hip hop community pushes till this day. Right. I can't turn on this song. Get that money, 100 racks. Get that money, 1,000 racks. Get that money. Money over everything. Yep. Cream. <laughs> That's crazy. Read. And their destruction was present. And their destruction was present. Because guess what? There ain't nothing to come out of that life. Why do you think they on drugs? If their life was so great, why does little Wayne look like a dried up raisin in the sun? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Pull up Lil Wayne's recent picture. If his life was so great, why does he look like this? You don't understand. These people get on these drugs, man, and they bug out because the things they have to do to get that lifestyle that y'all want so bad. Right. Give me, give me, Mr. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Pull that up. Blow it up. Jesus. <laughs> now go, okay. All right. Now go to Wayne when he was a kid. Type in Wayne Hot Boy or something like that when he was younger. I want y'all to get the thought. I'm not picking on my brother. The Lord's will, the brother repent. But this is what happens. Matter of fact, before you click on that, you see that picture on the second row at the end with him with a tuck. Yeah, yeah, that one. No, yeah, that one. Make that big. Nobody told him how bad he looks. Right. If you if you didn't know that was Lil Wayne, you see him on the corner, you would have thought he was a crackhead. The way his hair is. A bum. <laughs> now go to Lil Wayne when he was younger, when he was a kid. Yeah, go go to shoot, go to car to one. 400 degrees, 500 degrees, hot boys, whatever. There's one right there on the third row. He was losing it right there, too. But um, um, you get the point. This man is supposed to have millions and millions of dollars, right? His life's supposed to be great. He can go anywhere he want to. He can be with whoever he want to be. But look, look. <laughs> you see him now? Now go back. I, I want the last and thought of the uh, the catfish dreadlocks to stick in your head. <laughs> the catfish. The catfish dreadlocks. They look like the fried scales. catfish. <laughs> Oh, man. This is what drugs do to you, people. This, this is supposed to be, a, this is what all rappers aspire to be. Lil Wayne is in your top five. Mm -hmm. This is him now. He's, what, 40, maybe, 30-something? This is, this is him. Congratulations. This is what you have to look forward to in the rap game. Have no, he has no considerations for you or his people. Right, none at all. He even said I've never experienced racism. Right. You grew up on Eagle Street in New Orleans. Come on. In poverty. Right. You grew up in poverty, but you never experienced racism. Are you kidding me? And not only that, I noticed you said that he has no uh, consideration for his people or, like, for his people, but he has no consideration for himself either because look how he look right now, man. This dude look like he's constantly doped out out of his mind. And he, he, guess what? Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, he's the one that started your sons wearing skinny jeans. Yep. He's the one that started your kid children wearing um, suspect apparel. <laughs> this guy. The one everybody want to be like. Take right. him off the screen, please. Right. It's hurting my head. Give me first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. How are they able to make sense? How are they succeeding in polluting the minds? I, I can't even say youth no more. I seen a 40-year-old dressed like he was 25 leaving the club with 28-inch rims on, on, a, on a Suburban. Oh, my God. It's the older men, too, that want to be like these rappers. <laughs> I've never seen nothing like it in my life. You're 40 with three kids, and you have on skinny jeans, yep. and you have 20-inch rims. You got the little chain around your neck that you got it from Habib in the middle of the mall trying to keep up with these rappers. You got that? Read that. 1 Corinthians 7? 15. Oh, 15. 33. Okay. I got you. I got you. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. 
Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. That means whatever you're listening to, whatever you hear when you're around, it corrupts your moral fabric. Mm -hmm. For example, just like Deacon used analogy all the time, how weird would it be if every you was in your house, you cut off the lights, and you just got behind a random person and, and you know, gyrated behind them? How weird is that? But when you put music and alcohol, it's different. It's fine. It becomes acceptable. Right. Just because you put a beat behind it. And that's where our people have fallen into the folly of what your enemy, Esau, has pushed on us. You think that Esau was like, you know what, this is going to be a great thing for the black community if they talk about guns, drugs, and sex all the time. Yep. Let's give it to them. Right. No, they was like, this for sure will be their destruction. <laughs> let's give it to them. Right. And let's give it to them a lot. You remember there were certain things they couldn't say on the radio? Now I hear Megan the Stallion on the radio talk about, I'm a big old freak. I got kids in the car. Not saying I listen to that, but I'm saying if it's on the radio, just think about that. Right, There's right. people that got kids in the car that's listening to that. And they got little girls singing it too. I'm a big old freak. How did, what? Right. Because right. they repeat everything they hear. Yep. And that's okay. I remember we heard the, the, the glass breaking in the background because they even said, hell, you heard, <laughs> 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 or dogs, or it was, it was just quiet. Now they're allowed to say whatever they want on the track. Right. Y'all got something to say bring out before I go to the next? Yeah, because the Bible tells us, like, not to communicate in this type of way, in this type of manner, talking about I'm a big old freak. As a matter <laughs> of fact, let me uh, get Colossians 3 and 8 real quick. Bring it out. Colossians 3 and 8. Because the Bible doesn't condone this type of speaking amongst one another, amongst the blacks and Hispanics. And Native Wait. Americans. And Native Americans. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 8. But now ye also put, all, put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Filthy communication. What is man primarily spoken of in these rap or in these hip, uh, hip hop songs? Uh, work that, twerk that, or mm -hmm. I'm going to kill this Negro, I'm going to kill that Negro, mm -hmm. I'm going to sell this dope. I'm going to defile my neighborhood and just so I can make a come up. Mm -hmm. It's a selfish mind state that we're constantly in right now. The, that's what I want to bring. Okay. What about you, Dad? I got. Yeah, I, um, I always want to touch on 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 the men, the forty and up club that be. I mean, the forty and up men that be in the club. Bring it out. Uh, give me Sirach chapter twenty five, and I believe it's. This is is the old adulterer that doeth. Uh, twenty five. Let's see. Yeah, verse two. Verse 2, okay. So, book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 2. Three sort of men my soul hateth. The, the Most High said three things that, that he hates, all right? And we're going we're gonna to go on those. Read. And I am greatly offended at their life. Uh -huh. A poor man that is proud. A poor man that is proud. Can't tell him nothing. A, a rich man that is a liar. Come on. And an old adulterer that doth it. And an old adulterer that doeth. This is a this is a man that has different baby mamas. Have you know what I'm saying? Multiple kids is up in the club. He's 40, 40 and up, still chasing women. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you're supposed to teach the young man to 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 invest in the house, invest in their future. Yep. But you're out here in the club trying to chase women at 40. 50 years old. The most high God said he hate that. You ain't, we, ain't got no, we ain't got no men to look up in the hood mm -mm. because you up in the club. Yep. With a thousand rings on each finger. Right. And sagging, which is a shame, which is shame to our nation as well. Cornrows. You know, it's the old school play with the cornrows, gray in his <laughs> hair, with the goatee. You know what I'm saying? He got he got a, a key ring full of keys. Mm-hmm. You know, he got on lug boots. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm laughing, but, it, hey, y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. He the one that, he got He got the Bluetooth headset oh hanging out with God. the, you know, looking like oh, Spice man, Adams. Not the, <laughs> pull up, hey, pull up 
a picture of Spice Adams. This is yeah. exactly what yeah, this dude exactly. looked like in the club. <laughs> This is this is exactly what this old dude looked like in the club. Bring it up. Bring it up. Ain't got nothing else to do. He in there with 25-year-old kids. 23. Uh oh, dang. They got uh <laughs> go to the one with him with the chain on. Hold on. Talking about I know do I know your mama? You look you look familiar. You you got come on, they ain't got no good ones, man. The uh, this one. We he had that one laugh, the ah ha ha. What about that one in the corner? Close to the corner. No. Nah. Glasses. Uh-uh, no, no, no. All right, there ain't no good one, buddy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Old, old player just like that with the goatee. He got on the lug boots. He got on a fitted hat. Not, not a snapback. He got on a <laughs> fitted hat and a chain just like that in the club trying to pick up women that could be his daughter. Mm-hmm. Sick, man. That's, that's y'all nasty. Y'all. Right there. Right there. There, oh, blow, can you, can you blow that up? Go to the second picture. Go to the second right under, where he's holding peace out. Yes, blow that one up. That's that's that 45-year-old oh, man. man in the club right there. <laughs> right there. You, with the gold grill in his mouth. Pull, <laughs> pulling up a, in a Suburban with 28s on it. Spinning rims. Paying five, <laughs> five payments of child support. Behind on three of them. Right. All right, let's, let's get back to it. I'm sorry. I had to go on that rant, man. I see it every week, though. Because guess what? I got to bond him out of jail. And they and they mugshots look just like that. DUI. You 45 years old, you got a DUI from leaving a club because you out here chasing young women to rap music. <laughs> True story. Uh-huh. Give me a... Uh, Sirach chapter 10, verse 9. And give me that video that uh, YK oh, uh, oh, or Sias or whatever that I sent you. I can't pronounce the brother's name. These brothers got weird rap names. It used to be just young whatever, little whatever. Now they got NBA, NFL, <laughs> TBC, MWF, R89. What the hell? <laughs> the whole alphabet. Read that. It's the book of Sirach chapter 10, verse 9. Why is the earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. There is not nothing wickeder than a covetous man. Read. For such and a one sitteth his own soul to sell. He will setteth his own soul to sell. Man. Read. Because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. And <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go into that part because... We all know what some of these rappers do, man, to get famous, man. You right. know, right on the low, on the low. Yep, they undercovers on the low. If you if you see that Cat Williams special, the first one, when he wore the little leprechaun green jacket <laughs> and he talked about back. the mansion parties, <laughs> that's what your favorite artist got to do to get down. And that's oh that last part my that god, <laughs> because while he liveth. He casteth away his bows. Casteth away his bows is going into your favorite artist doing some uh, homosexual things to get rich, y'all. I'm just going to put right, it I'm gonna put right. it plain. Like your boy Tank. I'm going to just throw it out there. <laughs> oh, I'm going to yeah. just throw that out. Yeah. It's not on topic, but. Yeah, that, it's, it's on that, topic. Yeah. Man, come on, man. Play that. All right, listen. I ain't come to preach. I ain't come to preach y'all head off. I'm just coming to tell the truth. If no entertainer tell y'all this, I'm going to tell y'all this. This music industry is a blessing and it's a curse. And if you think it's a blessing from God, from God, it's a lie. You talking about sex, money, cars, hoes, and you think it's coming from God? What makes you think that? Stop letting these entertainers lie to y'all. Open your eyes. The devil wants you to talk about what he wants you to talk about so you can tell the mean people, hypnotize the mean people, destroy yourself and destroy the mean people that you talk to. What makes you think it's a blessing from God? Everybody keeps saying, oh, it's a blessing from God. Thank God for blessing you. No, he didn't bless you. I'm going to tell y'all something. God can bless you, and the devil can bless you. So stop thinking God bless you in this music industry. This music industry is not what God like. So stop saying that. Besides, this young brother, he knew. So obviously, he done seen some things. He done heard some things. Mm. And it was just so heavy on him that he had to make a 54-second video about, like, hey, man, look, 
This ain't of God what we doing. <laughs> right. We doing some of the unholiest of the unholy. Right. To get this money. So don't ever, that's, look, that's what kills me, right? 50 Cent made Get Rich or Die Trying. Every song had a gunshot in it. Every song. <laughs> Every single song had a gunshot or him talking about killing somebody. Right. When he won Best Award for Best Album, the first thing out of his mouth was, I want to thank God for right. giving me the opportunity. God had nothing to do with Get Rich or Die Trying. Right. Nothing. Right. As many people has got killed, shot, or died with that in the tape deck, that guy ain't had nothing to do with that. And I could go on about all these rappers. Um, can I get uh, Isaiah yeah. 5 and 20? Get that. Just going on with what, what uh, what's his name? Y-K- y- Y-K-O-S-I-R-I-S. <laughs> Osiris. He wants Y-K-O-S. everybody to spell it out. Like all these rappers want their names spelled out. There, God, there you go. God, dog. But yeah, let me get Isaiah 5 and 20, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good. Woe unto them that call evil good, that glorifies in, in, in selling drugs in their community, and calling, the, calling our women out their name, calling them B's and H's, you know what I'm saying, disrespecting our women, and rapping about it, glorifying, glorifying about it, glorifying about uh, throwing uh, shade or double-crossing their, their own brother. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, woe to them that call evil good. He reading? And good evil. And good evil, you know what I'm saying. We we as prophets, we we get we get heat for, you know, just just, just telling that you're um, you're a special thing on this earth. We give you Deuteronomy seven and six, and we're your enemy. You know what I'm saying? It says the scripture says, uh, re- uh, read it again from the top. Woe unto them that call call evil good, uh-huh. and good evil. Well. That- Woe unto the rappers that sit up here and they and they rap about right. trap or die, or um, uh, uh, the females out there now thinking they the baddest B, or right. they sleeping with yo man, or you know what I'm saying Get sleeping from men to men. Yeah, woe unto y'all because nothing y'all speaking, nothing y'all talking about is not benefiting the, your nation as a people as a whole. Yeah, you might get the one up, but what about what about everybody else? What about your nation? Your nation is suffering as a whole together. It's not a coincidence. They get the basis of us, though, Daniela. They get the basis of our people. They don't see nothing wrong with that. Right. Boost them up. Give them the image, the persona, the bank account or whatever to, to, to make us look up to them. And when they're done using them, you see what's happening to R. Kelly. R. Kelly's been <laughs> sleeping with young sisters for decades. Right. Yep. For decades, when they done with him, he done selling records. When they done selling albums, they cast him out into the flame, basically. Didn't that movie get uh, best? Uh, got yeah, best documentary. Yeah, best documentary. Yep. They got an award for that. What type of stuff? <laughs> they going through real life situations and they up here happy because they got an award. Right, glorifying their sorrows. Right, that but, don't make no sense, man. But Our that's the point. That's, that's the thing. They give these rappers. All the avenues to destroy themselves. Be- and when they're used up, they just used up. They thrown out, cast out into society like nothing. Right. You know, you got rappers working at uh, fast food restaurants. You got some of them that's doing o- uh, Uber. Uh, Roscoe Dash, I don't know if y'all remember him. He's an Uber driver. He's an Uber driver. Wow. Oh, snap. He's an Uber driver. I didn't oh, know that. Snap. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that, that guy. Bro. Was on all the hooks back in the day, bro. He's driving <laughs> Uber. All the hooks, bro. Yeah. He's driving Uber, right? He is. <laughs> That's not funny, but he's drive sharing right now. Is that what they call it? Drive sharing or ride sharing? That's what they call it. He's ride sharing right now. Right. What happened to the glitz, the glam, the glory that I would be rich forever? That was a false promise that was given to our people. Right. Now, without further ado, we said all that to say this. Give me Sirach, I mean, give me Leviticus 19. T.I., it's your turn. Bring it out. Mr. Activist, Mr. Pro-Black, Mr. Black Lives Don't Matter, it's your turn. <laughs> Read. It's the book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. As 
brothers and sisters or Israelites, as the 12 tribes of Israel, God commanded us in a law stating that we must not hate our brothers in our heart, but any wise rebuke our neighbor, our brothers and sisters. If they, we, we see each other going off, we must correct them, period. Read. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. We shall not avenge nor bear a grudge, any grudge against thy children of thy, thy people. But guess what? I mean, was he, he, he was in rat beefs, but that's besides the point. That's the, I'm not trying to get off track. We must, as black, Hispanic, and Native American people, not see each other as enemies, but as brothers and sisters. Right. And not just a come up either. We can't look at each other as a come up. Give me verse 29. Whole point. Verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So, in recent news, T.I. talks about taking his daughter on regular virginity checks. To make sure she has not lain with a man. Most men would applaud that. Most men would say, well, good job, T.I. Mm -hmm. But how many women have T.I. told that to work that twerk that? Right. How many women have T.I. himself slept with? Yep. Come on. How many women, I'm going to tell you straight, been to a party with T.I. music playing and lost their virginity? Probably many. Probably many, because that's the type of music and spirit they push out. Oh, I got that video, too, of uh, King. Okay. Right. Okay. Let, me get, let me get the... You, you will bring that out after the daughter situation. And okay. there's a double standard. There shouldn't be a double standard. Right. But there's a double standard. You would let your son have sex at 14, but your daughter's 18, and she better not sleep with nobody. Right. And, that, and this is... These are the men that our brothers look up to and inspire to be. I want to be like T.I. I want to be rich and philosophical and activist like T.I. But knowing that these are grown children with no understanding. Give me the definition of a man in the Bible. Give me 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 3. You're looking at real men right now. We take care of our children That's as right. the laws of God say. That's we take right. care of our wives as the word of God say do. And now, according to God, that's what a man is. Right. Right. Not because you have you can have thirty five million dollars in a bank account and be a child. Right. It causes more damage to your community than good, and that's exactly what you see with ninety nine percent of these rappers. Okay, you told you 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 talk about killing and shooting and, and selling drugs in your community, and you put a basketball court in your community, and you think you did something good for your community. What about the 25,000 brothers that you got in prison right now on a chain gang making 10 cents a day doing the work that Esau would have paid them $25 out here on, out in, in the world to do? Right. Read that. It's the book of uh, 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 2. I go the way of all the earth. Be thy strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. Show thyself a man how? Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God, read. To walk in his ways. Walk in God's ways, read. To keep his statutes. To keep his statutes. And his commandments. And his commandments. And his judgments. And his judgments. And his testimonies. And his testimonies, written. That's the whole Bible, y'all. Front and back, read. As it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thy doest, and whithersoever thy turnest thyself. That's the definition of a man according to God. And that's what you see on this earth now. You didn't see this 40 years ago in, in, in mass as you see it today. Right. Now you see the prophets rise back up. You see in real men of God, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans arrive, and these rappers don't seem too appealing no more. They have to, they're gonna get have to get with it or they have to go they're gonna have to get lost, period. Because that that whole falsifying all the big chain, the big diamonds, having all the women, the cars right. and the clothes, is not appealing to our black our brothers and sisters no more. Right. Especially when we struggling out here, the way we struggling. We getting shot down in the street like dogs. I see T.I. get arrested for no reason. What did his money do then? He was getting arrested trying to get in his neighborhood. What did the money do for him then? Nothing. Through, through all his affliction, he just he still don't understand that. Right. 
They still you eyes up, don't that. shoot. No, it's repent and keep God's commandments. That's right. Show that video. It started 20 seconds. I think it's the timestamp I sent you on that video. With the, yeah. I don't know. Hold on. What, what, I, what did I tell you? Yep. All right. Play the Ladies Like Us there. podcast, when they asked him if he's had the sex talk with her. And yes, not only have we had the conversation, <laughs> oh. we have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her height. Oh, you hey. <laughs> Do you go with her? She's a prisoner. Yes, I, yes, I go with her. <laughs> so we'll go. You know what I mean? I say, Deja, they want you to sign this. <laughs> they want you to sign, sign this. this right now. Want you to sign I need to know if your hymen's still there. So we can uh, <laughs> share information. Do you have is anything? Is there anything that you would not want me to know? Oh, okay. See, Doc, ain't no problem. So this right. episode of the uh, episode of the pod. So he doing that for his daughter, making sure no man has lain with her, which in all aspect would be an honorable thing if you was telling other women or it's girls to do the same thing. Right. But you're not. It's hypocrisy. Right. It's hypocrisy. That's why, and that's why it's, 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 it's trending. It's a trending topic. Because it's like, how are you sitting up here rapping about this and that and this and that? And then, you know what I'm saying? Then you up here talking about, oh, well, I got to protect my daughter. Yep. That... The, the mindset of the men that we have, that we have to look up, is uh, they bugged out. And you know what's crazy about that, Officer Daniel? Like, we always constantly go at the pastors about, like, them being the, the quote-unquote leaders of our communities. But you got to think about these hip-hop artists are the leaders of the community due to the fact that these are what our young men, our young boys look up to. Right. They look up to the young Gs. They look up to the TIs. And they see that the images that they put out, and they try to follow through with those things. Like, uh, young Gs with the trap or die. Like, how many brothers you know, black, Hispanics, and Native Americans have went to jail behind those acts behind listening to the music that they produce? Like, here it is. You talk about uh, getting off a pound or a, a brick or whatever. Mm -hmm. How many people you think are trying to do to implement, the, uh, do the same things that these rappers are saying? Right. Our leaders or these rappers have failed us. Bro. Right. They know that people go out and do exactly what they say to do. Right. They know that for a fact. They even say it in their interviews. You know, well, I'm I'm not really the cause for them doing all this. But then, you know, of course, the reporter comes back and be like, well, you're saying it in your music, and they're doing it. Right. right. They're like, well, I mean, I'm just telling my story. I mean, that's their scapegoat. Right. But they right. know that these young people follow after them. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't think they go to concerts, they have concerts. Our people spend their hard-earned money on these concerts to look exactly like them on stage. Right. Yep. Right. To dance like them, recite their music. To me, honestly, rap concerts, worldly rap concerts, is probably the dumbest waste of money ever. Because 99% of them don't know their own song. They don't. <laughs> They're jumping around stage, yelling. Their music is playing in the background with the words on it. The mixed and mastered version of the song is playing in the background. They're ad-libbing their song. I paid $50 to stand up next to somebody else and recite the same song that I could have did in my living room. And the club gets shut down. Yeah. Because yep. somebody want to fight all the damn time. Or get shot or start shooting at the club. Right. Like, here it is. You're going to risk your life just to re recite some rap song. Right. Because I know, crazy, like, bro. like growing up, growing up in the hood, you always wanted to show that artist that you were big and bad. Mm -hmm. And if, if any slight of disrespect... I don't care if you're a rapper. I don't care if you uh, a public figure. You're going to get this work. And right. that's how brothers think. Like, just because you're... Then, then they go to that part where, wow, just because you think you're a rapper, you ain't nothing. But here it is. You're glorifying him. You pay for his ticket and everything else. But now you want to disrespect him. Now, that, like I said, once again, that, that's confusion. That's hypocrisy. You can't... <laughs> you sent that video to Enos about... Yeah. Enos, play that video of T.I. talking to his son about... Sex. It's the first. It's first couple of seconds. It's the first couple of seconds. As soon as you start it, watch the hypocrisy. So he he he's checking his daughter every year to make sure her hymen is intact. Okay. Every year, so to make sure she's a virgin. Mm -hmm. Who's to say what's gonna happen if she's not? Right. right. Knowing Ti, he probably flip out. 
But look, his son is 14. His daughter is 18. Right. Listen to how he talks to his 14-year-old son about him having sex. Play on. Okay, you having sex? That's what he's saying. <laughs> oh, okay, that told on himself. You just broke your mama hard. You just went and gave them husbands your innocence. Mm, yeah, you see what he done did? So, that's it. That's it. He's up here laughing. He's laughing about it. Right. He's laughing about it. He's not sitting up here saying, oh, bro, you need to, you need to check yourself. You know, you could, you could be having diseases. You, could, you know what I'm saying? But he's sitting up here laughing about it and, and, and clowning his wife. Or I don't know if they're still married. Yeah, that's his wife. But you're sitting up here clowning about it. You're supposed to be serious about it. Yeah, oh, you broke your mama's heart. Oh, good job, son. Good job. Right. Hey, right. you know what's crazy to me? Like, it's it, T.I. acts like Hebrews 13 and 4 don't apply to his son. Like, the scripture says that hormones and adulterers, God would judge. He's only acting like, okay, maybe, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get my daughter pregnant or get my daughter STDs, but my son, oh, yeah, he can go out there. The laws don't apply to my son. It only applies to my daughter. That's that, that's, that's that, that young mentality. He feel like, okay, yeah, he young. He's supposed to go out here and have all the sex in the world right. he's supposed to. Right. Matter of fact, that's how we was taught. Right. You know what I'm saying? By the grace of God, it didn't bite me. Right. Because it very well could. Nowadays. Yeah. Nowadays, I feel sorry. It's for Russian, it's Russian just... roulette with a loaded gun, like fully loaded, fully six loaded. shooter. Right. Man, with a man, buck shots. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? First time you want it done out here. Right. <laughs> Real talk, especially when you got a, a so-called white man giving 600 black women HIV. Right. And then they spread that through the community. And you know these young women, like, I mean, these old women like these young boys. And these old men like these young girls. So they getting STDs contracted in high school. Right. They spreading it through high school. Right. But it's okay. It's all fun. Oh, yeah. You go and do your thing, young man. Yeah. That is sin according to God. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. And this is why this happens to you Negroes. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Oh, it always goes back to Deuteronomy 28. Let's right. go. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said, don't prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Right. God said not to have sex before you're married. <laughs> Period. If you were to have sex relations with a woman, you are to endow her to be your wife. Right. That's right. That's thus saith the Lord God. Right. Because Negroes don't want to do that. They want to go to the club. They want to turn up on the Sabbath, which is Friday night. Mm -hmm. Give me verse 61. Verse 61. I'm see. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon them upon thee, until thou be destroyed. So you wanted to turn up. You wanted to listen to Ti. You want to listen to R. Kelly. You want to listen to all of these people put with their evil communication. Put on the song. Oh yeah, you can have sex with him. You know, one night stand. Uh, da da this and da da that. And, you know, the music is just right. When you wake up with chlamydia. He needs some milk. When you, no, you're going to need more than milk. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to need antibi antibiotics. Oh, my God. You're going to need a shot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You might get something that you can't get rid of. The gift that keeps on giving. You <laughs> might get something that pop up or out there. Just weird his ugly head every now and then. Because you want to turn up. Right. You want to, you, you, T.I. ain't going to pay your medical bill. No, he ain't. <laughs> or no, Cali ain't. ain't got no more money to pay your medical. He was, he was paying for them NDAs. Man. He was sleeping with the young woman and giving them, breaking them off a little check. <laughs> the checks ran out. Right. <laughs> that's crazy you said that the he same man that's promoting you to go out there and get these, catch these STDs is not going to be paying your bills, bro. Oh, no, my look, God. Look, he, he, they, look, some of them got them themselves. NBA, well, NBA young boy admitted to having herpes mm. in a song, believe it or not. Wow. Yeah, 
Yeah, caught people off guard. He was like, oh, my God. He had some... <laughs> yes, because he's living the lifestyle he's rapping about. Right. That you want to live. Congratulations. Read verse 61 again. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 61. I got to make it plain for Negroes. I got to make it plain. Read. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Think about the mentality of God right there. He said, you Negroes are going to be so wicked mm. that I'm going to have to make new sicknesses upon this earth for your wickedness. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, AIDS, <laughs> HIV, blue waffle, trichonometry, whatever the hell you catch in 2019 was not written in the Bible. Right. right. That's for you Negroes, you, you, you. Oh, yeah, Usher. Usher got a, got you, that, yeah, that's, got that's, that's for you, Usher. That's for all of y'all that want to do what these songs say, y'all. Look, okay. Now, there's another video, I think. Not a video. Give me an image. Give me an image of Pharrell. We might as well touch this right now. Oh, yeah, we might as well touch this right now. Give me Pharrell. Y'all really think this is okay? He's the one in the bubble coat dress. I didn't even think you could put those words together. But he's wearing it, ladies and gentlemen. Brothers and sisters. Wow. This, wow. It, look at, come on, man. Look, it's 2019. The new masculine, come on, man. Masculinity. Come on, GQ. Like, come on. Issue. If y'all don't see an agenda being pushed on you, you're asleep. You're asleep. He's wearing, I got I to gotta describe this. Are you going to pull it up bigger than that? What's, what's, that, what's, that, what's that chick from Boomerang? Eartha Kitt? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he looks like right now. He looks like Eartha Kitt to you? <laughs> No. That ain't good. That is disrespect. Oh my God. Bro, what? <laughs> no, oh my God. Bro. That's the GQ magazine. Why, why why is Pharrell about 50 years old? He's still trying to look like Will Smith's son. Right. <laughs> yeah, he do look like Jaden. Dang. Go just give me the just give me the uh the uh cover. This is a dress, ladies and gentlemen. You can't you can't get past that. No. That is a dress. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. He doesn't even look like a man in this picture. If you didn't know, if they didn't put his name somewhere at the top right-hand corner of the screen, you would be like, who is she? Who is this female with a short blonde hairdo? Oh, because my he God. has no beard. Right. Give me that. Give me that. That law. <laughs> he doesn't have a beard on his face. Bring it up. Bring or a mustache. Or any type of manly hair on his face. He has the oppressor's hairdo, like hair color, which is blonde, with a bubble coat dress. On. <laughs> what? Well, wait a minute. Yeah, it's a confusion of faces. Yeah. Right this is the new masculinity. Your your woman is supposed to be uh more um uh, effeminate, masculine to you. Apparently, you're supposed <laughs> to be more effeminate than your girlfriend or your wife. Apparently. Come on, man. Read that. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. This is hip-hop, ladies and gentlemen. This is no longer the Timberlands, baggy jeans. This is now bubble dresses and skinny jeans. Right. Read that. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Oh, and guess what? Pharrell's not the only one. Please type in Andre 3000 in address. He he was bold enough to put it on a video. He called it a kilt. Black people call it a dress. He needs some milk. Or skirt. <laughs> yeah, what well, yeah, this is what he wore, wore a kilt. 
No, nah, that looked like a dress, too. Yeah, you can count that. He's definitely wearing a dress. You got Young Thug right there. Oh, yeah, in the bottom uh Yeah, go right to Young corner. Thug. Go to the bottom right. Yep, that's who your kids listen to. That we, guy. We got NBA players wearing dresses. Yep. And, and kilts and, and stuff y'all, like I that. I mean, y'all don't see that hip-hop has been the avenue to push all of this wickedness into our community since Fight the Power. You know, Fight the Power was one thing. They said, okay, these Negroes is getting too political, too pro-black. Yep. We had KRS-One rapping about us being Israelites. We well, had uh, Chuck D fight the power. Mm-hmm. Well, you had, uh, give me some more of them. Uh, African Boombada, mm-hmm. when he had the yeah. Zulu uh, Nation. Zulu Nation, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had those type of influential blacks. They said, you know what, we can't push these niggas no more. Yeah. Give me NWA. Give me niggas with attitude. Give me uh, Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg. Give me Biggie Smalls, Tupac. Yep. Give me Old Dirty Bastard, Wu Tang Clan, and then they say, you know what? Okay, now now we destroy these niggas. Give me these niggas in a dress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, and he calls himself Young Thug. So when you think of the word thug, this is what you think about: a Negro in a halter top <laughs> with 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 knee high socks. Uh, oh my God! It, oh, this is yeah, oh he a no, thug that, though. That's him. That's that. That's Young Thug. That is Young Thug. That is him. that is Young Thug. Yeah, that is. Uh, oh damn. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly where it went to. Gangstalicious is real, y'all. <laughs> For real. <laughs> and he is ninety nine percent of you rappers out here. You ain't you ain't gonna be able to get on without doing this gay stuff no more, man. They gonna have you gonna wear a dress and some lipstick. Matter of fact, go to Kurt Franklin wearing lipstick. It ain't just rap. Right. You can't do black gospel without uh, 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 lipstick. Kurt Franklin, lipstick. Dang, they got Kurt Franklin dress. He didn't even have to type it in. <laughs> wow. Come on, man. His yeah. lips is as pink as the background. He has on lipstick. Come on, man. Can, can we read Deuteronomy 22 and 5 again? Yes, sir. This, this is what it's going to. There's a spirit that comes behind right. a man cross-dressing. Right. It takes the masculinity out of the man. It turns him into a homosexual. Yep. Period. I think they were reaching on that one. Oh, my God. He is wearing a dress. Yeah. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. And you know what? I got something. Go ahead. Read on. <laughs> it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Uh, you know, do you have the other Facebook uh, video pulled up? It's me, another one. Let me. Uh, it was underneath that YK. Well, yep, that one. <clears throat> Oh, hold, yeah, hold, yeah. stop it, stop it. Go ahead, uh, Dayala. All right, Please so. say what you going to okay, say. Okay, so give me uh, Surat 15 and 13. Say because, 15 okay. Yeah, 15 and 13. So this is Kirk Franklin. He's supposed to be a man of God. He's supposed to be a man of God, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the scriptures say. It's the book of Surat, chapter 15, verse 13. The Lord hateth all abomination. The Lord hateth all abomination. So a man wearing a dress... Is an abomination, right? Right. Read. And they that fear God, they that fear God, that is a God fearing man that keeps the commandments, and be a man in the household and build up his his house, his wife and his children, and provide for them, and provide for the community, and lead them and guide them and give them the sense. Read. See. And they that fear God love it not. They love the. uh, They love it not too. They don't like the abominations. They don't like to see a man wearing a dress and, 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 and makeup. That's an, abomin- that's an abomination. That's a distasteful thing to a man. Right. But he's supposed to be a man of God. 
I don't praise you brought the scripture out. So now it makes people that's watching this that actually listen to this music and promote this music really come to the conclusion, like, do you really love God? Because yeah. if you really love God, you won't be supporting the Kurt Flankins. You won't be supporting the uh, the Young Thugs and the Pharrells. You won't support these type of actions. Right. Saul, so, let's be for real. The people that listen to Kirk Franklin are the same ones on Sunday to watch the Bobby Jones gospel <laughs> album. <laughs> Everybody knows Bobby Jones is a homosexual. Oh, my God. But they watch him faithfully every Sunday. How I know, my mom used to watch him. And all he prayed, I'm not even going to imitate him. How he, he he played tambourine, okay? <laughs> He's the tambourine He player. was a tambourine player before he got big. <laughs> He's that big. It, play Oh, Play the video. Who do you think going to raise the kids? Who do you think going to clean the house? So stupid, Abe had to think about it, and guess what they came up with? They came up with a whole set of laws called the slave codes. And you know what they were? They were a set of laws to reinstitute slavery. Let me tell you what they were. There was the vagrancy law. A vagrant was any person who wasn't fully employed and didn't have a place of residence. You know who that was? The four million slaves who just found that they were free. As soon as they stepped off the plantation, you're breaking the law, they locked you up. Wow. And as soon as they started that process, then they created what's called the convict lease program. You know what the convict lease program was? The convict lease program was a program that said once you were arrested and incarcerated, you could be leased back to the plantation. Sometime before your bed even got cold. Then they said, oh, yeah, you want to vote? Sure, we got the literacy law. You know what that law was? The literacy law said that you could vote, but you had to first read this statement. If you read the statement, you were arrested. Why? Because the only way you could read it, if you know how to read it, was against the law. And so they had the legal system set up and designed to read institute chattel slavery. Now we got to fast forward. But we don't got a lot of time. But what I will tell you, even today, they got this drug-free zone. Let me tell you why the drug-free zone is a joke. Drug-free zone said if you get caught with drugs, either in your possession, sale, or distribution in a drug-free zone, which is 500 feet from a school, that you are required to get the maximum penalty. Well, guess what? Anywhere you go, is it 500 or 1,000 feet from a school, which means we automatically going to get the maximum. That's when they come up with the mandatory minimum, which say, well, then, if in fact you get arrested with a certain amount of drugs, I got to give you 15 to life. You know why? Because the prison industrial complex is a business, and we are a commodity. We were brought here as a commodity, and as soon as they figured out that they could no longer use us in the way they used us, they had to figure out a new way to use us. And when this way runs out, they'll come out with another way to use us. Until we wake up, until we raise our consciousness, until we recognize that I want you to kill each other. I want you to call your sister by the B name. I want you to call each other niggas. I want y'all to rob and steal each other. You know why? Because I make money all the way to the bank. My daughter's the stenographer. My uncle my uncle is the judge, my nephew is the prosecutor, my cousin is the defense attorney, and my, my brother is the correction officer, my other cousin is the warden, and if you die and kill each other, I make them bombing floor to bury your dead ass. And then on top of that, I build the coffin. So I'm making money across the board. So I don't want you to get conscious. I don't want you to be in the room teaching each other. I don't want you to raise your level of thinking. I want you to go out there and bang each other. I want you to go out there, because when you do that, my son, who's not yet born, can have an education at Harvard. I can buy that yacht that I always wanted. I can live in a life of luxury and I can continue to capitalize off your stupidity. Mm. And that's the point of hip hop. Right. To get you in that cycle. Because right. think about how think about how crazy this system is mm -hmm. where you're gonna plug from it. we we're not in the matrix, right, brothers? Right. So watch this. Young Jeezy comes out with an album. Thug Motivation 101. Very first one. Trap or die. Got young niggas, there'll be young brothers, 12, 13, 14, want to sell drugs because guess what? Jeezy did it. He got so profitable, he sold pounds and keys. Right. Mm -hmm. let's, let's do three options on that brother, right? Option number one. Let's say he does graduate to a kilo. Okay, now he, he got caught with that kilo by the police. He's in prison. Who's making money now? The prison industrial complex. Yep. Who made money off the cocaine in the first place? The people who brought it here. Right. Who runs the prison industrial complex. Right. Win-win. Win-win. So the dope they took away from the brother, you think that just got put into a uh, evidence locker to never be seen again? No. Nope. That went back on the street right. for another brother listening to young Jeezy that want to sell dope to buy the dope, get, the, get your community on the dope. Now there's a sister. High out her mind. They can't raise her children. Mm -hmm. Her children are taken away from her, put in the state custody. The, co the state making money off the children. Right. Put them in, in foster care. Yep. 
Them children grow up confused, disoriented, monsters. Let's be let's keep it real. Monsters. Right. They go and terrorize the same neighborhood. Right. That that he's in 20, he, he he's gone for life. He's never gonna see the light of day. Right. But that action that he took off that rap song is going to last for generations. Yep. Right. Long after he's been off the block. Ray Ray is in jail for 25. That kid that has now got cocaine in his veins because he sold that dope to hit that person's mom, he, he, he's now a criminal himself. He's going to see Ray Ray in about 20 years mm-hmm. after killing somebody on the block because of that situation. Man. But guess what? The white man that made the money off the incarceration, he's making 10 cents off Ray Ray. He's making money off the justice system, like he said. The defense attorney, prosecutors making their check. Mm-hmm. People are dying in the street. Okay, that means the funeral homes. The people making coffins, making money. DHS is still a business because they're still taking black people's kids because they can't raise them right because they on drugs. Yep. And they're, pro- they're, they're, they're promiscuous yep. off of this music. Mm-hmm. So look at the damage that this culture, this hip-hop culture that we love so much has really done. Yep. Mm. That's just one scenario of one person. When you right. connect it to a whole community and you go down the black side of town, why is this person on crack? Why is he a whiner? Why is he a drunk? We could trace it all the way back. We and we act like hip hop is a hundred years old. The institution of hip hop started in what 79, 80s? Right, in the 70s. So it's been 40 years. Let's just give it 40. In 40 years, look at all the damage it's done to our community. Right. Before <laughs> rap, we had Black Panthers. We had the Civil Rights Movement. We had households with two parents in them. Yep. Right. We had kids aspiring. Which I'm talking about Cosby era right before the hip-hop era. Cosby, even though he, he did his wickedness, but he did it off camera. He didn't glorify it. But on camera, Cosby pushed what? Two-parent households, college, education. And look, if you look back then, look at the statistics. It was a lot of black folks going to HBCUs. The most coveted thing was a HBCU sweater. Yeah. You remember when Howard, Grambling, mm-hmm. Langston, everybody had the sweatshirts. Yeah. Right. This is the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. But guess what? NWA came out. Dickies became the new thing. The court, <laughs> Nike Cortez's, button-ups, chains, scully caps. You know, all this became cool because the people that oppress us to this day, the person you love so much, the neighborhood white man, seen this as a way of destroying the community. Yep. Mm-hmm. And guess what? It's worked, y'all. How long, how long are you going to let it work? Right. Yep. Because these new dances, I still even see brothers and sisters of the truth doing these new hip-hop dances. How the hell you know about them? You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'm guilty. Yes, I still listen to secular hip-hop music. Not in the sense of I want to hear about niggas getting shot. You know what I'm saying? But it's certain songs that link me to certain places and certain memories, right? right. But I understand it's all entertainment. Right. Kids don't understand this is entertainment. People really think T.I. has 500 bodies. People really think Young Jeezy sold 350 kilograms of cocaine. People really believe this. People really think that 50 Cent survived getting shot nine times in one encounter. That didn't happen. He got shot multiple times, different times. That equal nine shots. He didn't get shot one day, nine times. That didn't happen. But that's what made him become a super thug. Right. Oh, I got shot nine times. I'm still alive. I'm super gangster. Right. I can't die, nigga. I'm super thug. Yep. Buy my album, Get Rich or Die Trying. That's that's in in every song you heard was gunshots. Right. And the right. Negro, if you don't mind, if the Negro is so simple that they'll, they'll actually think that God is behind 50 Cent because he said, God must have a reason for me. I got shot nine times. I know I got a reason to live. Like, no, you are <laughs> built for destruction, bro, right. if you right. don't repent, bro. Right. Like, we really idolize this man for getting shot nine times and thinking, like, God must be behind this man. He right. got to be behind him. 
but not knowing the wickedness that this man is implementing to our kids, to our youth. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Let me start at verse 9. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6. It's sad that our brothers and sisters actually go through this and they can't see it. It's, it's sad that knowing that when Friday night get here, our sisters are going to prostitute themselves to be a whore. Yeah. They're going to wear the, the tightest dress they have in the closet, mm -hmm. the most revealing dress they have. Then they're going to get our brothers to go chase the cat, so to speak, cash his little $500, $600 check, probably miss out on paying a couple bills so he could go out to the club and quote unquote flex to make it seem like he got a lot of money when right. he really doesn't. Right. Yep. And they're gonna play that cat and mouse game. Right. And then the sisters wonder why they keep ending up with the same man. Yep. <laughs> why I can't wonder. find a man. <laughs> <laughs> why I can't find a man. You wonder why. The, by the way you dress, by your attitude, by your perception of life, that's what attracts a man that is gonna that that is detrimental to you. You know what's right. so heavy about these scriptures? I watched Captain Isaac, right? When he did the um the radio interview with that brother and sister, the brother with the dreads and that sister that with, with the glasses. She was on point. At first she was like, Yeah, you know, I love you brothers for coming in and talking and everything like that. But then Captain Isaac said, I don't want y'all to get offended when I start bringing these scriptures out. Mm -hmm. He's like, No, brother, bring these scriptures out. Bring these scriptures out. <laughs> Captain Isaac brought out uh, Deuteronomy chapter 22 and 5, right? Mm -hmm. And he brought out modest, first he brought out modest apparel. Uh, uh, I think it's First Timothy's, right? Yeah. yeah he good. brought that out. As soon as the scripture got done, she had on like a uh, spaghetti strap top with a, with, a, with a chest out. As soon as he got done reading it, the first thing she did was this. What are you trying to say? Sister, you know what I'm trying to say because you covered up <laughs> right, what the right. scripture was talking right. about. Getting cut. Right. And guess what? She went straight left after that. Our people hate the laws of God. Right. You want the solution. The solution is so simple, but it, it, it freaks out that American culture hip-hop uh, chip in your mind right. that yeah. says you can do everything you want to do and be fine. And when the prophets of God tell you, no, you can't, this is why we having this problem because men are lusting after you. The brother defending up. No, she can wear whatever she want. She can have a chest out, brother. It's supposed to be me. I'm supposed to have strong will not to look at it. What? You dumb as hell. Right. <laughs> and they fought the captain tooth and nail about that. But uh, give me that First Corinthians 6 and 9. That's the mind frame of our people. It's the book of First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? I don't understand why this is not read every Sunday in church. Oh, I know why. Because they don't care right. about God. Mm. They don't care about making it into heaven. They, don't, they care about them duckets, that, that money, and keeping you Negroes asleep. That's the only reason why Christianity exists. It's never to help you. It was always here to destroy you. And I'm going to prove it. Read. Be not deceived. Nor fornicators. I'm sorry. Neither fornicators. Nor neither fornicators. Who are fornicators? People that have sex or they, they break the laws written in Leviticus 18, right. which are the laws of fornication. That means menage a trois, mm -hmm. having sex with the same sex, having sex with animals, having sex out of wedlock. Would, one night stands. One night stands would consider being fornication. He said, don't be deceived. Neither fornicators, read. Nor idolaters. People that worship white Jesus, Islam, worship me. Oh, I'm atheist, brother. I don't believe. Or you can worship some of these leaders or rappers. Oh, man, Jeezy said, T.I. said, Tupac said, you know, the cultures say. People actually turn hip-hop into a religion. Because think about it. All, I seen a sister, me and my wife, not to get off topic, but me and my wife went to Chick-fil-A yesterday, right? I'm pulling past. I got my food. It's a sister. She walks outside with a man, with, with a boyfriend, whoever, the husband, whatever. As soon as she walks out the door, she don't know me. She looking in my direction. She ain't talking to me. What is she doing? She's rapping a song. That's in her mind. She just, just busts out the door rapping a song. What? You just got done eating Chick-fil-A. That, that pops you. You bust up with a door. I'm, I'm a rap. 
Like, our people really is in this stupor about hip-hop. Like, it's really like, Negro, you made rock and roll. You made blues. You made R&B. You made every genre of music on earth. Right. You made classical music. You made it all, but you're stuck on hip-hop. Right. Even country. That they're taking from you right now. Because they promote all of these trash artists and all these quote-unquote lyrical artists. Think about it. Eminem is deemed the greatest rapper ever. The most, the greatest lyricist to ever walk. They gave that title to him being a white boy like it was nothing. Oh, he can rap. Oh, he he's so lyrical. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't. I couldn't quote five Eminem lyrics right now to save my life. I couldn't do it. Not not one black person can do it. But he's the greatest hip hop artist to ever walk and live on planet Earth. The blonde hair, blue eyed Eminem, Marshall Mathers, Slim Shady, right. that guy. Right. He made the most weirdest, obnoxious. He talked about killing his mom and his baby mama on yeah. three <laughs> albums. Yeah. But he loved his daughter to death. But he, uh, right. <laughs> don't, say, he, don't say nothing about his daughter. I, I'm saying, but I mean, like, that's bugged out. You re- Nobody bought an Eminem album to listen to him trapping his daughter baby mama in a closet or in a trunk of a car and driving off a cliff. Like, he rapped about that stuff. Like, mm-hmm. and he, oh, he's so hard. Oh, he goes so hard. The lyricism. Oh, my God. You see how he put those two words together? <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Read on. Nor adulterous, nor... Adulterous. E- that, that's you that do have a wife or a husband. But guess what? It's my birthday. I'm going to leave him or her at the house. We're going out to the club. And if they play my song, you just the sister. If they play my song, I'm going to be that thought tonight. Oh, <laughs> right, my God. It'd be that sister that has a birthday, she goes out for a birthday. But what she do, she go to a male review. Mm. And then the men, for their birthday or whatever, for their celebration, they go out to the club. Oh, my God. Wicked as hell. Wicked. <laughs> But it's the culture, though. It's hip-hop culture, though. We, it's hip. And then wonder why they have uh, relationship problems. Like T.I. Tiny? Right. They have marital problems. Right. Uh, Killer Mike. Killer Mike has a wife. But Killer Mike's still rapping about women, drugs, and all this other stuff, and try to take the political scene. Right. You he he wouldn't be that. in the Congress, but he rapping about drugs and women. And, and Come on, man. You made Crip Cola and Blood Pop. Is that what he was called? Mm. <laughs> You try to have a Congress seat, and you make a stuff called Crip Cola. Mm-hmm. But you know what? White people don't take you serious, Killer Mike. Right. You, you might as well give it up, bro. They right. they laugh at you. But right. you know what's crazy though? Bernie Sanders actually utilizing Killer Mike for the black communities. That's what they always do. Man, I'm telling you, bro, that stuff the, is crazy. What, who was it? Hillary had Beyonce and Jay Z do a concert for her. Yep. Yep. <laughs> They'll always use these 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 artists, hip hop artists, to, to bug Negroes out. Yep, you right. remember Trapper Die, then it became Voter Die. Yep, yep. You sure did. You sure yeah, did. I oh you. my god. I guess I'm dying then. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna die. Yeah. I'm not voting. I remember that. I remember uh that. read on. Uh, let me see. Nor effeminate. Oh, that's that's that uh Pharrell you just see. Dressing right. like a woman, them skinny jeans, the 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 lipstick, the soft look. For a man, the that's the effeminate. The Read on. What, what does that turn into, though? Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Oh, that effeminate spirit normally turns into the whole, the full blown homo spirit. You man on man, woman on woman, working that which is unseemly. Oh my God! Right. Read. Nor thieves. Thieves. Come on. Oh, how many songs they talking about Jack Boys? Jack Boy, Jack Boy. Yeah. I'm a, you know, stick them up, kid. You know? Yep. Come on. Nor covetous. Nor covetous. I, I got to have, oh, man. He, see, I came out with the, with, the, with the icy white forces. I kill a nigga for him. I, oh, you got them J's on. I kill a nigga for him. Right, yep. Read. Nor drunkards. Oh, oh, that's that's in the club all day. Get your drink on. Pass the Cavassier. Uh, blame it on the Henny. Blame right, it on. Right, blame it on. <laughs> they play this in the club for a reason. Yep. Right. So you can spend your money 
on sin. It caused more sin when you leave the club, or you might die there. See, just what might happen that the chopper might come out, the Negro mind goes somewhere, and next thing you know, the chopper start raining, and Ray Ray didn't make it home from his birthday right. weekend. It was a tragedy. Blood everywhere on the dance floor. It said he had five shots of Hennessy. That's a reality. That happens. And everybody's like, oh, my God. They go to church Sunday like, oh, my God, what happened? You shouldn't have been in the club, period. He needs some milk. It was the Lord's Sabbath. And when the Lord brings judgment, it's not nice. (laughs) Believe it or not, he's laughing when that happens. Right. When that chopper ring out and y'all women screaming and y'all he y'all leave y'all four hundred dollar heels on the dance floor, the Negro done scuffed up the three hundred dollar Jordans he just bought, <laughs> running for his life. The Most High is in heaven laughing at y'all. Right. If you don't believe me, give me Proverbs. We going back. Give me Proverbs chapter one. Get to the point. The Most High God has a sense of humor when it happens because guess what? First of all, you should have been in the club. It's Friday night. It's the Sabbath. Hell, you shouldn't be in the club any night. But you do it on the Lord's Day. Yep. You do it on the Lord's Day. Willingly and unwillingly. You might not even know. But guess what? You should have more sense to know that, okay, I'm in a room with complete strangers, and they're offering me alcohol, and they're playing music very loud, and I have on probably close to nothing right now. Hmm. And I'm letting this guy dance and breathe all over me. That. It doesn't oh my God. enter into my mind that this is wrong. But read that. Uh, start at verse 20. No, get to a point. Well, yeah, read verse 20. We're going to read through it, though. Okay. Go ahead. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. She utter her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. That's where you see the prophets of God. That's where you see the brothers of purple and gold and other, other brothers that preach God's commandments. We out in the highways and byways where our people are. We probably been handing a flyer. We went to Bricktown during the before the club hours, and we passed our flyers and we heard the word of God, okay? Before you went in there, all right? <laughs> Read. In the openings of the gates, in the city she uttered her, her words, right. s- saying, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? How long will we take this hip-hop culture seriously? Like, like how long will we, we see the hypocrisy in it, we see the, the, the destruction in it, and we hold it so dear? Like, it's just, it, it's just so part of us. Like, we can't be black without hip-hop. <laughs> Come on. And the scorners delight in their scorning. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Come on. And fools hate knowledge. And y'all look at us like we crazy as hell. We we with mics, with Bibles, and, and we screaming at y'all. We got nothing better else to do. Like we just boring people. You really believe that? Mm-hmm. Read on. Verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. He said, turn at my reproof. I'll pour out my spirit. That means he'll give you wisdom and understanding if you turn to his word. Keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Heed to it. Come on. And I will make known my words unto you. Then you'll see the wilds of the devil. The tricks. Mm-hmm. Like we're, we're making it plain out here. In the world, we probably couldn't see it. Yep. But God poured out his wisdom amongst us so we can put this as plain as day. Come on. Because I have called and ye refuse. But see, he's called and many of our people refuse. They don't want to hear it. We got brothers, sisters, cousins that's, that's seen our Facebook post that we've talked to personally. They think we crazy. Read. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Read. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. He said, you said at not all my counsel. You, you put the Bible behind you. You said to hell with that. Read. And with none of my reproof, I also would laugh at your calamity. He what? I will laugh at your calamity. What? I will laugh at your calamity. Come on. And will mock when you, your fear cometh. So, for illustration purposes, it would be like this. Oh, my God. He showed up the club. <laughs> Most high God. <laughs> he, look, <laughs> right. You're an angel. <laughs> you, see, you see how he's running? You see how he's running? <laughs> you see? I told him. Look, he's screaming. I told him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see? Hey, she love a heel. You see? <laughs> 
sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Not my Jesus. Right. <laughs> I can hear it right now. Not my Jesus. My Jesus wouldn't laugh at that. Uh, all right. What did the scripture say? Read that again. He said you, he will laugh and mock with your... Come on, read it again. I also will laugh at your calamity. Calamity is... Uh, so give me the, put the definition of calamity up there because that's not a Negro word. Maybe we're making this up, Enos. Put calamity up there. Calamity for you black folks that don't know uh, proper English. It is an event causing great and often sudden damage or distress. Mm. A disaster. Mm -hmm. What is a disaster? Oh, if you were at a club, the biggest disaster would be what? Someone... Letting off in the club, yep. which would be what? Someone using, look, I got to talk proper now. <laughs> letting off <laughs> means someone using an automatic firearm to shoot as many rounds into the small vicinity as, in, as possible. <laughs> Similar, disaster, catastrophe, tragedy, cataclysm. That's what happened. And he said he's going to be, he's going to do what? Read it again, bro. I will laugh at your calamity. He's going to laugh at that disaster. Read. And I will mock when your fear cometh. Because everybody that goes to the club has in the back of their mind, you know what? I'm going to leave about 10 minutes early before these Negroes start tripping because I don't want to get shot tonight. Right. Mm -hmm. That has crossed everybody's mind that's ever been to the club. Let me, let me, let me get out of here early and beat everybody out of here so I don't get shot. But when that fear come, you oh my God, why did I go out tonight? I should have listened. I should have stayed at home. You you underneath somebody's body. Oh, I should have listened. I should have stayed at home. I should have kept my money in my pocket, man. I don't know what I'm doing. Most high up there. I mean, that's 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 crazy because you lose people are losing their lives over the the littlest things. Yep. Somebody stepped on their shoes or mm -hmm. just something ignorant. That's not worth the person's life to want to shoot up the club. But it's called judgment. Right. That's, that's, that's all it is. We all know who causes the judgment. You know where that scripture's at? Isaiah 44. Hold on. I think, is that it? Is that what I want? Wait, how's it go? I do. I create good and evil. Yeah, 45, yeah, 45 and 4. And four. I got Give you. me that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45. Verse 7, I form the light and yep. create darkness. Yep. I make peace and create evil. Kiri? Verse 8. No, no, no. You missed the part. You said create evil in there. Somewhere. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, when the club gets shot up, it's judgment, y'all. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry. Y'all think it's Ray Ray tripping. He done had too much to drink. But guess what they call alcohol, ladies and gentlemen? Spirits. They tell you before, when you walk in the store, it's called wine and spirits. <laughs> yep. That's clear indication right there of what you're consuming. I don't, I don't know why we'd be like, oh, yo, is that tequila? Give me about five shots of that. No, you're, you're, you're ingesting a spirit. Mm -hmm. right. And anybody that drinks tequila a lot, it seen people drink tequila a lot, no. The pure devil comes out of you yep. when you drink a lot of tequila. Mm -hmm. I will not go anywhere with a person drinking a lot of tequila. <laughs> Y'all know. As soon as I see a tequila bottle, I'm like, how much have you drunk of that? Yeah. I got to go. Yep. I got to go. Y'all got something to say? Go ahead and bring it up. Uh, can I, oh, you got something, Dion? No. Okay. Can I get the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11 real quick? Book of Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Verse 11. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not ex is executed speedily. Because sentence of an L, because, sen uh, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. What are these works? Uh, listen to rap music and now I want to become a whoremonger. Like, you know what I'm saying? I listen to T.I., like how he's supposed to be sleeping from woman to woman to woman. And listen to uh, Little Kim, how she talk. <laughs> listen to Little, like, these women, these sisters, listen to Little, little Kim. Oh, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? 
with that, I don't know, I don't remember that song that, uh, with 50 Cent. Bro, look, you see how far removed Saul has been from the world of hip hop? <laughs> he said little Kim like she's still relevant. Hey, bro, it's been a long time, but it's been a minute, bro. It's been a minute. Hold on, hey, pull up little Kim now. He probably have not even seen what she looked like now. Her, her face is relevant. Keep, keep, keep that thought. Keep talking. But pull up little Kim. Her face. He, she her don't, face she, she don't look like how you remember Saul. <laughs> Trust me. Because we want to commit these acts these rappers are speaking of. We want to fulfill these lusts that these uh, these rappers are portraying. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, my bad, bro. I should have said. Um, no, no, you should uh, no, That's good. little Kim. Yeah, hey, well, uh, dang. What's uh, what, that, what Nicki Minaj? You're fine, but the, <laughs> you, you, you on point, though. But keep going. Yeah, okay, yeah. so the acts that she promotes. Is, uh, is committing sin, is committing wickedness. Because, like, we as black suspended to Native Americans fulfill, feel as if we can commit these sins on a day to day basis. We're going to the club and reveling, getting drunk, getting high, smoking weed, sleeping woman to woman, or man to man. We feel like these, these sentences are not executed speedily. What must happen to us? Read on. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. The heart of them is set to fill off. To do evil. We feel like we can continue on to do these things. But not knowing, okay, I went to the club uh, 50, uh, 51 uh, Saturdays out of a year. That 52 Saturday or that Saturday night that I went, that 52nd Saturday or Saturday mm -hmm. that I went, now Ray Ray is shooting up the club. Mm -hmm. right. Now Bobby then gave me the, the clap. Uh, the clap. Right. Or uh, Gina then gave me um, the waffle or something. You know what I'm saying? True. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... Like, this has got to be mindful of the things that we do because we feel like since we can live life day to day in the committing sin, that the judgment is going to be executed upon us swiftly. Right. Not knowing that the most high will come or will judge us at some day in time. Right. Or, hey, I got caught with drugs twice. Maybe I shouldn't get out here and sell drugs for the third time. Right. Jeezy told me to drop a dotto. <laughs> I got to get out here with this brick. I got, I, I, look, they, look, I'm smart this time. They called me two times. I know where I was slipping at. <laughs> you the master. I got, I got a master plan right now. I'll never get caught a gig. You see what I'm saying? Right. I got a stash spot in my car. You know what I'm saying? You got to blow the horn three times. You got to flick the lights a certain way. You got to turn the heat on this certain amount. And it'll pop open. And uh, that's where I put my drugs and my gun and everything else. <laughs> and and there's, a, there's a video of a cop walking in somebody's car Doing that and hit a stash spot, open it up. <laughs> You're not that smart. Somebody told her, you, you show too many people your stash spot. Yep. You're going to jail for the third time. Mm -hmm. 25 years, third strike. Y'all people was crazy. <laughs> Y'all people were nuts. You got something, Dangala? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. Um, give me Sirach 16, um, verse 1 through 4. It's just to just to just to piggyback on what you're saying, like even though we we see these people do these things, and they're not getting punished at that time, we think it's okay, right? Or you know they think it's okay. So I'm a, I'm gonna I'm a piggyback on that. The book of Sirach, chapter 16, verse one: mm -hmm. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, uh -huh. neither delight in ungodly sons. Neither delight in ungodly sons. You got these bad kids that need their ass whooped. Excuse my language. <laughs> <laughs> but they need a butt whoop, and we always trying to blame it on, on whatever other reason. But they need a man, a male figure. They need a structure in the household. Mm -hmm. All right. So keep reading. Though they multiply, rejoice not in them. Even though they multiply and they doing what they do, rejoice not with them. Don't 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 trim your ways. Okay. Read. Except the fear of the Lord be with them. Come on. Trust not thou in their life, uh -huh. neither respect their multitude, for one that is just is better than a thousand. It said don't even kick it with them, because for you being just, for you keeping the commandments, is better than a thousand of them. Keep reading. And better it is to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. It is better to have a just child, one, than have a thousand. Because why? Those, those ungodly uh, children are running up and down the streets causing havoc. Uh, uh, trying to talk about that, this is my block. And don't, and don't own a, a, a blade of grass or a, bl a brick <laughs> a foundation. Don't be at no city hall uh, councils or nothing. Right. Don't know nothing about zoning or anything. But they talking about this is my block. 
You know what I'm saying? It's better to have the just kid, uh, one just kid than a thousand. Keep reading. Verse 4. For by one that have understanding shall the city be rep uh, replenished. For one that has an understanding. These men that you see in front of you, the ones that have understanding is going to replenish the city. Mm -hmm. this, this book, this Bible, our heritage is going to build back our city. Not those, not, not them demonic kids out there. Not them ungodly kids that 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 think uh, running around shooting people or selling drugs for sport is okay. All right, uh, keep going. But the kindred of the wicked shall speedily become desolate. That's why we got to stay and we got to endure. It. We got to stay rooted in this Bible because there's hope for us. There's hope for our, our nation that sticks to this Bible, that sticks to this law. All right. That's all I got. Give me the article about Kanye West, please. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, how do y'all feel about the Kanye West's Jesus is King album? Trash. <laughs> Tra I, I didn't even. Hey, hey, no, I want the headline. No, the one about him bringing a thousand people to commit to uh, white Jesus. That's trash, man. I haven't even heard the album. I haven't heard it. But it's terrible. I, 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 try, I, I, you know, I just got to listen because I know I just it was on YouTube. I had nothing else to do. I said, you know, I'm going to listen to it. I couldn't listen to a whole song all the way through. Matter of fact, this song's on this album. That's only like a minute and 58 seconds long. And I couldn't sit there and listen to it. <laughs> Man, like, the you, longest you got, song is probably like four minutes. You got you got Kanye West coming up with uh, coming up with a gospel album. You got Snoop Dogg. I mean, you got to look at the people that consider music as a gospel track or a godly track. Mm -hmm. These people look at Kendrick Lamar's album, the damn album. They look at that as a gospel album. <laughs> he won a gospel award for that album. Wow, I didn't even know that. <laughs> Our people are crazy. I just want the headline. It says, Kanye West Sunday service had over a thousand commit their lives to, it says Christ, but we, we know it's white Jesus. New wave of revival. Okay. okay. Now, go to the, uh, yeah, that's, oh, God. I don't want to read. We're not reading. We're not reading no more of that. I, you can take it off screen. Give me the other one about Kanye West that you just had up there. I, I kind of want to put these, to, yeah, play that. Play that from the beginning. He's still crazy, y'all. Forget what y'all But the about. culture has you focused so much on fucking somebody, bitch, and pulling up in a foreign and rapping about things that could get you locked up and then saying you about prison reform. Mm. Like, it's, bro, we brainwashed out here, bro. Hold on, pause. Come pause, on, man. Pause. This is a free man. Pause. Isn't, isn't, uh, what's, her, what's his wife? Uh, Kim Kardashian. Yeah. It, isn't his parents, don't they own part of the prison system? Kim Kardashian and them? Yeah. Yes. Uh, what? What? Okay. No, okay, okay. All right, so. He was right. This, this, the hypoc this is the hip-hop hypocrisy. Because when the track stopped and they got a camera in front of them and they're not in their persona, so to speak, they talk like they got some sense. He's still crazy. Don't get it twisted. Don't think Kanye West ain't nuts. He's off his rocker. But he had a good point. Bring it back a little bit. Start it from the beginning again, please. Okay. Yeah, sorry for the language. Come on. But the culture has you focused so much on fucking somebody, bitch, and pulling up in a foreign and rapping about things that could get you locked up and then saying you about prison reform. Mm. Like, it's, bro, we brainwashed out here, bro. Come on, man. This is a free man talking. Democrats had us voting Democrats for food stamps for years, bro. What are you talking about? Guns in the 80s, taking the fathers out the home, plan B, lowering our votes, making us abort our children. Gosh, you're not killed. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, snap. <laughs> Kanye's crazy, oh, but he snap. had a good point. He got a good point. I don't want to get in a political situation right now, but... Both, he says Democrats, both sides of them want us to kill our kids. Let's just be right, frank. Right. The, the powers that be, yo, na friendly neighborhood white man, could care less about you having babies, black man, Hispanic man, Native American man. That's why he put Planned Parenthood in your neighborhoods. But he's so crazy, he's married to the enemy, he can't see that 
it's two sides to the same snake. Yep. Right. It's the same snake, no matter if it's a Republican or Democrat. Yep. It's the same white man running it. You know what I'm saying? Like they, abortion never stopped when one getting in office said, oh, okay, now abortion stopped for the four years I'm in term. No, nah, it kept going. Planned Parenthood has been around for decades. Right. How many presidents been in for decades? At least four. Well, since Planned Parenthood, I would say about three or four presidents have passed. Some Republican, some Democrat, but Planned Parenthood was still around. So he can't say that. It's the so-called white man. And yes, the culture is crazy. Yeah, you rap about doing things and get you in prison and stuff like that. And it, He contributed to that a lot, too. He was a producer. He produced for Jay-Z, everybody on Rockefeller, and what were they teaching or Dip, talking about? Dipset, he's a producer for them. Come on. The hypocrisy. Now you want to rap Jesus is king. Now, give me that. Uh, is there somebody back there you know? Okay, give me the one about Ricky Smiley. I want you. <laughs> so he's all about white Jesus now. He's all about turning his life around, trying to get, you know, redemption from all the wickedness he did, which he's going about it the wrong way, but he's searching. I'll give him a few points for that. He's in the world. Start that, I think it. I think I put a time stamp on that one. Okay, just play it real quick. Now, you and Steve Harvey go back. Yeah. Uh, you opened up for Kings of Comedy. I did. I did a whole lot of Actually, started for 45 the Kings seconds. Of Comedy. I'm sorry. Me and. Uh... Okay, so. Oh, Vlad. A little background. A little background TV. before we start this. So. Vlad, the so-called white man, is an atheist, and he's asking or talking to Ricky Smiley about Christianity and it holding up white supremacy and why do you believe it and everything like that. And he goes into an excerpt about D.L. Hughley, who says, and I quote what we're about to watch, and it's absolutely true. So when it talks about the thousands of people that Kanye saved or brought the quote-unquote Christ, this is what he brought him into. Play on. Watch this. And, um, you know, you're someone that goes to church quite a bit. Yeah. Correct? D.L. Hughley said, Black church is the gayest place on the face of the earth. <laughs> it literally really? is. It is. I don't go, but yeah, I mean, I would imagine. You go to black churches, it's women, children, and gay dudes. <laughs> it's women who are going to pray for a man, children who got, got to go with their women, and a lot of dudes who are praying the love of, love of a dick out of their hearts. I'm just, they, they just, I think that they're, they're <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. It's just like, it is. It's there, uh, you know. You will hear these things, and, and it just, you it can't argue with what you see. Stop. Well, I, I, I don't know. Stop. <laughs> and when he said that, I thought to myself, I was like, is church the gayest place for a black person on earth? Hmm. Yeah. Yep. You got the effeminate white Jesus on the wall. Yep. You got the choir director that you... <laughs> you know he funny. Suspect. Yeah. You definitely know he funny. On Greenleaf, they actually put a homosexual right. as the choir director. Mm -hmm. Right. Blake one. He out open flamboyant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This but you got the Bobby Jones Gospel Hour on BET. Like <laughs> that's absolutely one hundred percent true. But watch what he's been in church his whole life. Listen to what he says about church. No, keep playing. This is it's crazy. What you see. Well, I don't, I don't know about that or, or whatever, but I tell you what, uh, I really, I, I'm really questioning some of the Bible stories, and I think some of that stuff in the Bible is, tr is set up to train black people to be submissive to systematic racism and white supremacy. Stop. That I believe. So you went to church your whole life, and this is the conclusion you came up with, that the Bible is trying to keep black people oppressed. You haven't read this Bible. Right. You have not read it. You are only reciting back what your pastor was taught to teach you. Oh, uh, can I get a scripture real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me get Psalms chapter 62, verse 10. Just real quick. Because he said that we we supposed to be submissive to our oppressors, right? 
He said the Bible is teaching that. Mm. It's, the, <clears throat> it's the book of Psalms, chapter 62, verse 10. Trust not in oppression. Trust not in oppression. I think there's another scripture that talks about woe uh, to them that trust in, in, in oppression. But the scripture talks about the scripture talks about trust not in oppression. So what is this man talking about? Obviously, he did not read the Bible. For he, I known Ricky Smiley for decades, like you say, from Comic View on to now, and I always known that he was a, a church going college student that was a cute dog or whatever. But he's been in the church for that long and still haven't read this scripture or any other scripture of that matter. We're trying to come out of oppression. <laughs> right. right. That's the whole part of us repenting so we can come out of, out of uh, that, that's what salvation is. The salvation is us coming out of oppression and getting back to our natural state what the most high God has made us to be. The kings, and, and, uh, the, uh, the princes on this earth. So what are you talking about? Oh, it gets worse. Play on. That explain I definitely, explain yeah. that. Turn the other cheek or whatever. People don't mess with nobody that fight back. People do not mess with nobody that fight back. Black people have been taught to forgive and turn the other cheek for 400 years. And what, have, what, what has changed? Stop. Nothing. He's quoting Jesus. But Jesus was saying that amongst us. Mm -hmm. Not having hatred amongst us. Right. So if I offend you, you don't come back behind and offend me because you want your lick back. Right. That's the, the point that was being conveyed in Matthew. But he was taught the oppressor's doctrine in church. The same church that Kanye West brought a thousand people to right. to learn this garbage. Look, he's a seasoned man in the church. He is a devout Christian, yeah. according to <laughs> him. Every time I've ever seen him, he dressed up in a dress and act like, I forgot her name, that does the church announcements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would, that's why he said, think about it, D.L. Hughley said the gayest place right. on earth is the Christian church. And that's the scripture that they will use. Turn the other cheek, come as you are, and, and it will make the man docile and effeminate. Right. Because, oh, I, I have to be soft-spoken and... and and careful and nurturing. No. And that's how Tyler Perry can make 20 movies wearing a dress right. and it be Christian family entertainment. Right. Right. He is six foot. Five. He's deacon size. <laughs> with a dress and a wig on. Yep. Not, a, not, not, not including the plays. He did about 30 plays. Mm -hmm. That man wore the dress more. He wore pants. But that's Christian family entertainment. Right. And the same thing he's talking about is Christianity is teaching us to be docile. And this is out of 30 or 40 years of his experience in church. This is, this is what he concludes that the Bible is all about, is oppression, yeah. keeping Negroes down. Keep playing. Nothing. Well, I mean, the, the Bible and the church were used as a means of control. I Most believe that. Times. I really believe that. Well, the first black uh, aristocracy was the preachers, right? Uh, probably. He but, don't even I mean, sign. the preachers were given. <laughs> this is how stupid we are. Come on. The white man knows more about your history than you and about any topic that you do. First of all, think about it. How would he know more history about you if he went to the same school system as you went to. You learn more about his history, mm -hmm. but then when did he have time to learn your history? Because in the same school system that taught you his history, they didn't teach you yours. Right. And he was in attendance at that school. Right. Mm -hmm. So when did he learn your history? So that means this white man said, you know what? I got to, look, I interview Negroes all the time. Right. I got to learn about Negroes. I got to learn where they came from, what was used against them, what was used to, to manipulate them. So I could continue on. Vlad, don't get twisted, has Negro. I forgot who it was. DC Young Fly said, Vlad, you the police. <laughs> because No, for real. Because he said, you bring people up here and they tell all of these criminal stories to you and they wind up in jail later. 
He said, you the police. Mm. He said it in a joking way, but he was serious. Yeah. Right. He said, man, I ain't about to tell you nothing, man. You the police. And that's his job. To incriminate rappers, to incriminate all these other people. Like, I don't know half the people that he interviewed, but they supposed to be big time gangsters. Yeah. Like, where'd you find them? Like, how did you get their phone number? Why did they even agree to have this? And you you pointed out situation. So tell me what happened October 25th, uh, 1995. You know, what happened to that dude that killed your sister? Did you pistol whip him? Like, uh, Jason Williams, he interviewed him. He was like, okay, this crackhead killed your, your sister. Did you pistol whip him? Did you shoot him? What happened? Yeah. Like, why would you be asking him questions like that, knowing that there's no statute for murder? Right. You try to get him locked up. But keep playing. More power during slavery times because they kept the blacks in line, and they were given certain, that. you know, extra. I totally, I totally believe that. Totally. Yeah, no, no. And and, yeah, and, I, and you have it to this day because you see all these black preachers that were sitting around Donald Trump uh, two weeks ago. Same thing. What's the difference between that? And remember now. George right, W. Bush, only thing they need. All about political light. He fell off the wagon. That's the thing with our black folks. No. We don't stay on topic. This white man's telling you all about your history and the Christian church and how it's destroyed you. Now you want to jump to how, how pastors huddle around Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Negro, listen. You, he basically showed you that the 40 years you've been in the Christian church, you have not learned nothing but oppression. Right. And you claim the Bible is what's teaching it. No, it's your black pastor that's teaching you that. Yeah. Oh, turn the other cheek. Put your money in the collection plate. Forgive white Jesus. Thank you. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, glory to God. Mm -hmm. Y'all got something? Uh, yes, sir. Go ahead. Down. You got something? No, go ahead. Um, I'm going to go into a little history real quick just to prove to you that the other nations, they know our history and they know the power in music. If you think about, uh, I'm going to go to 1 Samuel real quick. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 23. Because here is when King Saul, or when the Most High put an evil spirit on King Saul for not killing all of Amalek during the time of um, King Saul. Uh, book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 23. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 23. And it came to pass, when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took an harp and played with his hands. So Saul was refreshed. So Saul was refreshed. He was feeling good. He was feeling happy. He was feeling joyful. Read on. And was well. And the evil spirit departed from him. And the evil spirit departed from Saul. The evil spirit departed from King Saul. So let's think about, like, in reversing that thing. Like, here it is. I'm feeling good. But then all of a sudden, like, I started to listen to N.W.A. Or I started to listen to 3-6 Mafia. Or I started to listen to Young Jeezy. I'm going to want to go out and rob somebody. I'm going to want to go out and kill somebody. I'm going to want to go out and sleep with somebody else's wife. I'm going to want to go out and just do all kind of wickedness and sin. This, hey, this, there's, there's, a simple, there's a simple thing like this. A high-energy track will make a person want to drive fast. Yep. So just think about that. You're driving fast in the neighborhood and you run a kid over. I mean, these these this music has a spirit in and it, it travels it's, into you. Exactly. And that's the point I was trying to bring out that these these music has all these music or different artists have a spirit that they push out to the people. Esau knows and collected all the data from our Bible, our history book and produced it and or not produced it but and took it and used it against us, knowing that, okay, here it is. If King David can make King, make uh, the Holy Spirit come upon King Saul, then what can it do if I push a wicked spirit out? What can it do if I uh, tell this man to go and cheat on his wife? Or what can it do if I tell this man to go sleep from woman to woman? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To go have this man go cheat on his wife. So I just wanted to bring that out real quick, just to further prove that these that these songs or these lyricists that we listen to has a big impact on our life. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if it's good or for evil. Right. So this gives me opportunity to plug. We have IUICradio.com. <laughs> you where you can listen to righteous music 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can listen to it on iTunes or uh, your iPhone. You can listen to it on Android. You can listen to it on your computer. And it's all righteous music. We also have classes on there. Mm-hmm. IUICradio.com. You don't have to listen to these lyricists. You don't have to listen to Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, YK, BMG, 
W Taco R X, whatever the whoever's out, <laughs> right. you can listen to actual lyricists talking about God and the deliverance of Israel. To read that scripture again, when it says King David played the harp, verse twenty three. Read it again. It's the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 23. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul that David took an harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. We have righteous music to, to depart those evil spirits that the world pushed. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? We got songs like, Welcome to My City. You know, if you want to think about how the coming kingdom under the one true king of kings, the black messiah, will be like, right. you can listen to that from Sabbath Vibes. You have you got the big ones, if you like that dance hall, reg reg reggaeton, mm. reggae feel. We got sisters. Hey, we got rock. Oh, what is it called? Oh, yeah, we got heavy metal. Yeah, heavy, heavy metal. Band. Heavy metal, bro. We got heavy we have metal. Heavy metal. We got every genre to pretty much fulfill you know? the, the spirit that you need to or, or we have every genre to pretty much fulfill the need that you need or the need that you have for, for we, music. We do. We got yeah. it all. We got it all. We got that R&B feel, that 90s R&B feel, mm -hmm. that new R&B feel, that that aggressive kind of hip hop, that smooth kind of hip hop. <laughs> IUICradio.com. Yes, it's yes. free. And all praises to the brothers and sisters that are putting in the work. That that with that with that type of mindset, you got to understand the vision and the goal. Our goal is to wake our people up so we can get up out of this, so we can get out of this captivity. And we got to renew our minds. Give me that. Uh, Ephesians four and twenty three. Mm -hmm. right. We have to renew our minds, brothers and sisters, because guess what? We got to understand what caused this mess. Fix it. Stop. Apply God's commandments and and, and, and then work through it. It's, it would be hard for me to tell a brother that's on the block that's listening that Jeezy is his daddy. Tupac raised him. Mm -hmm. And tell him, hey, brother, there's a better way without showing him and giving him a better way. Yep. You know? Read it. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 23. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Sister, you might have loved going to the club getting drunk. Well, you, you understood that you're a daughter of Sarah. It's right. time to put on a modest apparel, time to change the, the, the vibration of the music you listen to, and it's time to get these law statutes and commandments and become a righteous daughter of Sarah, how you was created to be. You right. wasn't created to be thought queen, Number five <laughs> on Instagram, okay? Right. Yep. right. Brother, it's time to pull the pants up. It's time to take the gold chain off. It's time to take the, the grill out. It's time to put the dope away. It's time to pick up the laws, statutes, commandments, the Holy Bible, man. It's time to put on these fringes, these beard. Please don't. And please take off the bubble dress, the <laughs> bubble coat the bubble dress. Down dress. Please don't. Don't go into gospel Jesus the King. Go in the back to white Jesus. Oh my white. God! All right. That album is trash, by the way. Right. I'm sorry. If you liked it, it was garbage. Right. Okay, because it wasn't pushing the true Messiah. It was pushing the ooey gooey Caesar Bozier spirit. Oh, he was mm -hmm. trying to get a check. That's oh all yeah, that's was. all it was. It was for a check. Trying to get a check. Snoop Dogg got a check. He trying to get a check. Yep. Kanye all. West could care less about white Jesus. Think about it. His wife is the biggest Instagram hoe on, of this century. Yeah. But he prays to God and she got on no clothes. Mm -hmm. Nothing. She has on absolutely nothing. She is nude on the internet. But Jesus is king. Right. <laughs> Give me that where it talks about uh, 2nd Exodus 14 about getting your house in order. Oh, yeah, 14. G yeah, yeah. Get your house in order and then teach. Right. See, he didn't read that scripture. See, he came back, he was talking about come as ye are. Okay, let's see what God of the Bible say. <laughs> Give me that. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 14, verse 13. Now, therefore, set thy house in order. That means you should have got, well, you should have left Kim because she's not Israel. Right. You should have got rid of her. But let's just say in the, in, in the, in the, in the devil's advocate, I'm going to play that in a Christian sense, 
You should have told your wife to put on some clothes. Yep. Modesty. Right? Read. And reprove thy people and confront. I'm sorry. And comfort such of them Start as. Start from the beginning. Because I think you've got a piece. Read that. It's the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 14, verse 13. Now, therefore, set thy house in order. Right. Read. And reprove thy people. Okay, then reprove your people. See, your house is completely out of order. Right. You got a father-in-law that thinks he's a woman. <laughs> you have sister-in-laws that are the biggest hoes of this uh, of this generation. Got the youngest one sleeping with a uh, someone older than him, older than her, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, those, the young, young ones. Oh, yeah, yeah they've been, they been out there. They've been out there since 15, 16. One yeah. of them right now is underage with Tiger. Oh, with no, the, that, the, the, that's that what was I'm two about. years ago. Oh. You, you, it's all right, brother. It's all right, brother. I'm all out it's of all right. You, you, you out lost. Of work, you, it's all right, brother. Good, you, you're right, though. That happened. Right. That's she what I was talking about. She moved on to Travis Scott. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't none of them real. Like, they got so many modifications. They don't. Yeah. If you looked at a picture of what they look like before the fame right. and now, they look like booger wolves. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> All of them, yeah. They look like booger wolves. What? Okay. Go, come on. Come on. Kim wants to dress kind of modest. Okay. Kanye, Kanye wants Kim, Kim to dress modest. Let's my see bad, what she's saying. Let's You're not into me wearing a tight you dress. You are my wife. And it affects me when pictures are too sexy. Of course, it's like a formal sure. underwear. It's hot. It's like it's hot for who, though? So, like, the night before the event, you're going to come in here and say that you're not into a corset vibe. I just feel like I just went through this transition where from being a rapper, like, looking at all these girls and looking at my wife, like, oh, my girl needs to be just like the other girl, showing her body off, showing this, showing that. And I didn't realize that that was affecting like my soul and my spirit as someone that's married and loved and the father of like now with about to be four kids. Kim, shut that down real quick. Oh. You built me up to have be this like sexy person and confidence and all this stuff. Yes. And just because you're on a journey and you're on your transformation doesn't mean that I'm in the right. I'm in the same spot with you. Mm. Ooh, shut that down. Boom. Put the key and lock that thing up. Hey, he he dropped his head. He had nothing to say. <laughs> he had nothing to say at Man, all. Uh, what's that scripture about uh, a woman should compa uh, uh, surpass a man? Uh, That's what we got going on right there, man. Uh, Jeremiah? Jeremiah 31 and 22. The way he even said it was even... If Effeminate, you know, you know, I'm on this new journey and I just think that, you know, uh you should you should dress a little bit more modest and not so sexy because you know I, I used to be a rapper. Yeah. Uh, and 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 now, you know, I, I see something wrong with that and you know, I just want you to cover up. Man. She looked at him like, well, first of all, she didn't pay him no attention. She was on her phone the whole time. She was right. on her phone the whole time. And when she got an opportunity to talk, she was like uh, nigga, shut up. He's like, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, All right. Head went down real All quick. right, Kim. Sorry, Kim. Read. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 22. Mm -hmm. How long will thy go about, O thou black siding daughters? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. This is a new thing on the earth. God told us to be men. God our houses. This is a new thing on the earth. Read. A woman shall compass a man. A woman shall compass a man. At this time, we got women think they, they can fight their own, their, their boyfriend or their husband, whoever. They think they can step up to you and fight you fist in hand. You got women that, that don't sit up here and, and respect their husband, their man. Yep. And they said that they love you and all this other stuff, but you don't respect your man. Because why? Because the man is being effeminate, is being docile through this rap music, through these uh, church uh, on every block. Our men are not stepping up because all this madness. The, what we're talking about today, the hypocrisy in hip-hop. You know what's so deadly about this truth? 
if he instead of making Jesus a king album and, and, and he really wanted to reform his life, conversation would have been completely different. It would have been those are divorce papers, sign them. Man, already. If you open I up that book, I ain't supposed to be with you. Right. I need to serve the most high God. Right. You got to go. Right. You can be sexy all you want to. We can do this custody thing, whatever. I got to go. Sign right there on the dotted line. Thank you. Bye, heathen. Shalom. Yep. That's how the truth works. Right. Christianity will allow you to have that whore on. She was in her bathrobe. There's four or five people in the room with right. cameras. She's in a robe. Right. Sitting on the couch. And he, comfortable, too. He has on a Carhartt. <laughs> he has on a Carhartt uh, jean jacket. It is looked like it's buttoned to the top. Yep. She has on nothing. Right. Like nothing at all. This is and she's going to disrespect him. Right. She on Instagram talking to another man. But thank you for liking my page or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Whatever right. she's doing. But she's not paying attention to her man. When this truth can pass the earth, brothers and sisters, that's when. Give me this when we almost done. Give me uh, Revelations 11. Right. Give me what I want to want. Great fear will fall upon these nations when we get our life together, when we get our act together, when we understand that this rap music is hypocrisy and it's nothing but detrimental to our community. When hip hop, what I mean is the secular hip hop. Now, we got brothers and sisters that rap in the truth that's different. Content is completely different. Right. They keep the commandments. They rapping about the kingdom. They rapping about repentant life. Completely different. Read that. See no dead bodies? No. Pass that where it says that... Uh, and they rose up, and great fear fell upon them. It's in chapter 11. It's right after 8. Let me uh, think it's verse 13, if I'm not mistaken. You're supposed to be my armor bearer, man. What you doing? I apologize, we holding, man. We hold the people a little later because you don't know where it's at. <laughs> I apologize. Verse 11. Yeah, verse 11. Verse 11. Verse 11. Okay. Come on. It's the book of Revelation, chapter, thir- or chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half. 350 years. Come on. The spirit of the life from God enter into the them. The spirit of life is the commandments of God. That's right. When it enters into you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and you come out of the stupor that you're in, the Kim Kardashian mo- movement, the Kanye, the the T.I., the Jeezy, the Tupac, the right. hip-hop, when you get all out of that, and the spirit yep. of God, the spirit of life come within you, which is the law, statutes, commandments, read. And they stood upon their feet. And you get up. Read. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. You know why? Because they'd be like, oh, snap. They see us for who we are. Right. The trickers, the deceivers, the demons, the devils that have been tricking them for over 400 years. You know what would be scary? I'm going to be a thousand with you. You know what would shut TMZ down? One day, Kanye was coming with fringes. <laughs> a beard on his face. He walked straight up to Kim Kardashian. She got on whatever the hell she got on. And he got, hey, sign him. What is that? Divorce papers. Yeah, I need you to sign them right now. Why? What's going on, Kanye? You know, TMZ got the camera's face. Shalom, most high Christ bless. Uh, I'm from the child of leaving, Judah. I'm leaving That's this heathen. Right. Uh, I want to keep God's commandments. Right. That'll shut the internet down. Right. It'll be over with. They'll be like, oh, my God, Kanye is leaving Kim. Because of his new religion. You know, they'll try to spin it or whatever like right, that. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she'll just be like, oh, my God, I don't know what to do. Next week, she with another dude. She, right. She's going to be hoeing until the day she dies. Just, that's, that's just her character. Yep. I don't feel no type of way about it. But that has been another addition of casting down <laughs> imaginations. <laughs> I am Officer Abdi. Come in, not that Bible cast it on me. To my right, Officer Saul. And this is another, another, another cast in imagination, man. Hip hop hypocrisy. We got to get past it, man. We gone. Yes. Shalom. Shalom. I'm sorry, Christ bless. I'm sorry, Christ bless. Grass and you know it's woolly hair, same color that snow. Yeah, Christ gon' go with that fire. Yeah, be blazing, blazing. Them nations, them nations for our salvation. Yeah, them heathens gon' get that woe. That double you, oh. Destruction and repercussion for oppressing his chosen seat. Yes, indeed. 
See, we on top. <laughs>